Hello, everyone, and welcome to a frankly ridiculous edition of AEW Dark. We are just 25 hours shy of the special edition of AEW Dynamite. Tomorrow night, winter is coming. But here right now, I am joined by the human suplex machine, Taz, and the o Olympic bronze medalist, Anthony Agogo. Anthony, we've got a great night of action in store for the folks a here. Massive night of action, guys. It's a pleasure, as always, to be at the desk with Excalibur Taz, two of the very best in the business. I cannot wait for tonight. And Taz, ahead of tomorrow night's Dynamite, understand Team Taz will have a little bit of a tune-up here tonight. Oh, yeah, Ricky Starks, the absolute one himself, in action in this episode. Well, let's not waste any more time and throw it down to our colleague, Justin Roberts, standing by inside the ring. This contest is set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit making his way to the ring from the woods. Weighing 247 pounds, K-T-B. Taz, you've got your ear to the street. What woods? Well, the dark woods. Oh. And they're dark and, and they're also rainy and it's thunder. And it could be anywhere. That's the beauty of being from those type of woods. So despite the fact that weather is a meteorological system that comes and goes, it's always dark and rainy in KTB's woods. Absolutely. OK. And his opponent yeah, yeah. bring the company to the ring by Tully Blanchard from Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. Yeah. Weighing 232 pounds, Sean Spear. Anthony, a couple weeks ago on Dynamite, we saw Sean Spears pick up a very important victory over Scorpio Sky. Yeah, big win from Sean Spears. I've been more and more impressed by Sean Spears each time he performs in an AEW ring. Big, strong man. Got a big, thick thighs. Um, yeah, listen, there's, there's no ceiling to his ability and potential. And Taz, that influence of Tully Blanchard, so pivotal. Oh, absolutely. As you know, Excalibur, you have a, a legend, uh, you know, no doubt, living legend like a Tully Blanchard. Or like a Taz. Oh, thank you very much. I, I'm very humbled by your statements. You know how I am, but uh, I digress. There's Tully right there. You have someone like Tully in your ear coaching you off. I mean, you can't get much better than that, except probably me, but I digress again. And you saw referee Mike Posey there checking for that steel <laughs> slug in that glove. Sean Spears, KTB. We've seen him a few times here on Dark. Extremely yeah. powerful, extremely explosive first step. Interesting matchup here. I find this very interesting. Two, two athletes, both big guys. I mean, definitely well over 6'1", six, 6'2", six, both guys, both men, both athletes. So we'll see right here. You know, let's see, Spears got a two-on-one control of that wrist right now. And Spears also aware of KTB's power, opting not to go for the collar and elbow tie, but immediately targeting the arm. But KTB turns it around on him. Yeah, sure thing. Nice quick roll through, and look at that outside drop toe hold. Well done. Spears. Ooh. Not sure you want to underestimate your opponent quite like that, but apparently Telly Blanchard approves. Yeah, I'm surprised. I mean, I, I, I could imagine, well, I couldn't imagine you, Anthony, during your uh, days boxing, doing something like that, just out of nowhere. What is this? Boy, just speaking of just out of nowhere. Oh. It appears the business between Sean Spears and Scorpio Sky is far from over with. What's he got? What's Sky? Oh, I see what he's got. That's the steel slug that, that Tully Blanchard tossed Scorpio Sky. Sky refused to use that to his advantage, and it ultimately ended up costing him. Wow, this is a yeah, very interesting, interesting turn of events. And, a, and Sky usually a little, a uh, little more animated. <laughs> I see what he's doing, playing some games, sitting here, he's gonna watch the match. This is uncharacteristic of Scorpio Sky. Whoa, whoa, look at this! Oh, KTB with a quick roll up, just a one count, and lays in a big right hand. Wow, three consecutive shots on Sean Spears. Spears taken off his game by the presence of Scorpio Sky, Anthony. Yeah, listen, um, I think he's going to be quite um, upset of himself because Sean Spears is an experienced fighter, and in any fight, you never turn your back on your opponent. And KTB taking full advantage of that. Big power. Just, just as you said that, he turned his back on his opponent. He did. He yeah, sure did. But KTB going for that second rolling spear to the midsection, but Spears with that knee lift. He cracked KTB. He sure did. And look at the, the gaze in the eyes of Scorpio Sky. Look at that Spears. 
Oh, God, the back of KTB's head. And Sky has made no motion to the ring. He's just, he, he took a seat on those steps and looks like Spears kind of doesn't know where to focus his attention right now. Sometimes that's the best way to play that head game. You know, just stare a guy down, do nothing, and rent space in his head. And that's a strong cross face. There's another one. And Scorpio Sky getting an earful from Sean Spears, but seems completely unfazed by it. He sends it a message. He certainly seems to be, in, and he is deep under Sean Spears' skin. Still nothing, huh? Still nothing? I think Spears needs to just, you know, not pay any attention anymore right now to Sky. It's not happening. Focus on KTB right now. Sean Spears stepping through. He's looking for perhaps that, that Scorpion Deathlock. He's got it sunk in. Yeah, once you turn it and sit back a teeny bit, you got it. He sat back. KTB is in trouble and forced to tap out. Yeah, I will not allow anybody else to try and break me down. The winner of this match, Sean Spears. Anthony, Sean Spears could have finished this match in any number of ways, but he used that Scorpion Deathlock, that sharpshooter, which Scorpio Sky. Oh, 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 here we go. Uh oh. Business perhaps about to pick up here. Oh, what the hell? What? What was Scorp oh, oh, Scorpio Sky with the TKO. Wow. And just walking off again, completely out of character for Scorpio Sky. Man, look at Spears. He, he can't believe what he witnessed. I can't either. Will Sean yeah. Spears victorious with Scorpio Sky in the head? Nah. Looking forward to this right now. Proud member of Team Taz, my man, Absolute Ricky Starks, in action next. This bout is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring from Miami, Florida, weighing 223 pounds, Damien Fenrir. In our first look at Damien Fenrir in singles competition here. This young man, when he walks into the barbershop, asks for the Justin Roberts. Oh, got it. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, though. Really put together really good physique on uh, Fenrir. Fenrir, I should say. Or Fakakta. <laughs> Fenuk, Fena. But the good looks and the Revolution body's not gonna help him against my man here. And his opponent, from New Orleans, Louisiana, weighing 198 pounds, Absolute Ricky Starks. We saw about 10 days ago, Team Taz has grown, added a number, another member, and uh, is a force to be reckoned with, I believe, Taz. Yes, absolutely. And tomorrow night on Dynamite, Will Hobbs and this man right here, Ricky Starks, where they're gonna put down Darby Allen and Cody Rhodes for good. And that's happening on Dynamite, my men here at the desk. Both men, my men, you see what I'm saying? I see what you did. Tomorrow night, 87 Central on yeah. TNT. Anthony, Will, Will Hobbs is an impressive addition to Team Taz, but absolute Ricky Starks. And I, you know, Taz, I'm not gonna put you on the spot oh, here. Oh, I'm fine. Anthony, Starks seems to be the breakout star of Team Taz. He's the man. He is the he's the number one draft pick. Look at him. Look at him. He's a Ta thoroughbred, my friend. He is, Anthony. You're right. And you know talent. You know athletes, my man. As a, a, a mega star boxer. You know, you understand this. 100 percent Taz. I told you before, man, I'll say it again. What a pick. Arguably the best decision you've ever made in this business signing that young man. Wow, Taz. Well, that's a pretty that's, big That covers right a lot there, of ground, but, but I will say that was a good uh, good mat return right there by uh, Ricky Stocks, but thank you. I mean I I, I would think I did some other things in my career, Ant. That I don't know. Pretty I don't good. know, but Taz. Then again. I mean, <laughs> proof is in the pudding right here. In this chapter. In this chapter. All right, all right, all right, right. That's, that's well yeah, said. As okay. a mentor, as a leader, as a legend, Taz. Well said, mate. <laughs> I love calling you mate. 
Uh, you're not a mate, Excalibur. You see this headlock here, switch to maybe a hamlock. No, a little drop toe hold. Good job by Starks. And Starks slapping Damian Fenrir. Well, earlier when we were prepping for this match, Starks did tell me he did not like Fenrir's hair at all. He said he doesn't like his hair. Can you blame him? No, I can't blame him. That was a nice lead fought deep arm drag. Deep arm drag, Fenrir holds on. Starks trying to get away, but Vice-like grip there from Damian Fenrir. Notice how Starks uses his hips to spin up to a vertical base. Veteran move right there, strong chops, physical as always. And he got deep on that hammer throw and really leaned into that back elbow, taking Damian Fenrir off his feet. Ricky Starks absolutely is just, I'm mean, so proud to have him part of Team Taz. As the lieutenant. Okay, I'm the general of Team Taz. He's the lieutenant. What's the next ranking officer? What is it? Lieutenant. Right, lieutenant. He's the lieutenant of Team Taz. We'd say lieutenant back in the old country. Um, but look, Ricky Stark, look at his big, <laughs> I'm talking about thighs quite a lot today, yeah. but again, <laughs> he's got big, thick, chunky thighs, big right. glutes on him. That just shows how much power he's got in that in that whip he did a moment ago. Yes. In his suplexes, in his punches. As we all know, power comes from your feet. That's right. He's using my old leg routine. That's why, bro. I mean, that's why. Oh! I mean, listen, and, and he has great genetics, Ricky Starks. He really, he's a genetic monster. Look at him. Look at him. Confidence, great, rugged, good looks. It'll be Starks and Hobbs teaming oh, up tomorrow night on Dynamite to take on TNT champion Darby Allen and Cody Rhodes. That's 8 7 Central on TNT, AEW Dynamite. Damian Fenrir gets left up and over and eats a drop kick from absolute Ricky Starks. Yeah, I think Fenrir, just, he, he saw that Ricky was up to something and he hesitated for a second. That little hesitation was enough for Ricky to drill him with the drop kick. I've seen Fenrir before. I've seen him wrestle outside of AEW. But Ricky, he hasn't let him get into a rhythm. Right, that's the key. You don't want to let him get any athlete. As you know, as a boxer, you don't let your opponent get into a comfort zone. Exactly. You want to whoop his ass before that happens. Ricky, if I could be a little blunt. Ricky Starks, an expert at dictating the pace of his matches. Oh! Oh, Nelly! Just ooh, ooh, ooh. locked Fenrir and then followed up with a chop, adding insult to injury. Good way to lose a tooth. Look, he knows what he does. He loves the camera. Ricky loves the camera, and the camera loves him. Camera finds him. Oh, yes. Oops, swing and a miss there by Starks. Whoa, watch that. Fenrir. Peppering Ricky Starks with shots. See that hesitation though, that's the problem. Oh, maybe not. Nice drop kick. Drop kick from Fenrir. Ricky Starks looking uh, like he's in a bit of trouble here. Oh. Can't wait. You hesitate, you're toast, son. That's what happens. Can't hesitate. Boot by Starks. Bringing Fenrir up. Oh, we're going there. We're going there. He's we're, got him on the, the shoulder. Here we go, buddy. A little, a little bit of Rochambeau. Rochambeau. Yeah. Starks plants him center of the ring, hooks the far leg, it's academic from there. No winner of this match. Absolute the revolution Ricky. is televised. Starks! Revolution is televised! And it will be televised tomorrow night on TNT when Ricky Starks and Powerhouse Hobbs team up to take on Cody Rhodes and the TNT champion Darby Allen. Winter is coming, special edition of Dynamite tomorrow night, 8, 7 Central. You see that Rochambeau, the way Ricky does it, footwork is such, such an important part of what Starks does with that Rochambeau. Footwork, my friend. Just before the Rochambeau, guys, he, uh, the, the replay didn't capture. He turned the fence into attack so quickly. All the greats and all the sports do that. Turn the fence into attack with the drop of a hat. Well done, Ricky Starks. Brandon Cutler with four victories in a row, looks to make it five, but Danny Limelight stands in his way. Who will be victorious? We'll find out next here on AEW Dark. This contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from Brooklyn, New York. Weighing 175 pounds, Danny Limelight. Taz, you know anybody from Brooklyn? Yeah, a couple people, some relatives, and oh, wait, uh, yours truly, my friends, yes. Yes, you ever been to Brooklyn next cover? I have. Oh, wow, well, pardon me, I thought you were gonna work with me a little bit and say no, but. <laughs> no, I'm yes oh, and. Right, what part? Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> okay. Williamsburg. Oh, wow, yeah. well, I'm from Red Hook, which is right near there. There you go. 
Look at us. A couple of, couple of native New Yorkers. Yeah, same but different. Like the, the song from, uh, what's her name? Yeah, I remember her. Uh, Kimmy Schnabels. <laughs> And his opponent, from Rancho Cucamonga, California, weighing 192 pounds, Brandon Cutler. Anthony, as a man of the world, I'm just going to assume that you've been to Brooklyn. But have you ever been to Rancho Cucamonga? <laughs> I haven't. To be honest, I haven't been to uh, Rancho Cucamonga. Rancho Cucamonga. Okay, but, uh, Brandon Cutler's looking like Charizard today. <laughs> he's, bringing, he's bringing the fire. I like it. I like it. I like this new attitude he's got. That's funny what a couple of wins can do, you know. It can change your whole confidence levels. And we've seen the best Brandon Cutler the last few weeks here in AEW. Anthony, you're exactly right. Taz, though, does not like this new attitude no. being shown by Cutler. No, I don't, I don't like I don't like it at all, but I'll tell you this much. I, I'll tell you this much. He, he's definitely been impressive with the victories. But I said it last week, just one man's opinion. I'm entitled to it after 33 years, and it's friggin' business. Okay, you win a few matches, next thing you know, you stop saying hello to people. And that's what Taz, he doesn't say hello to anybody in Team Taz, Brendan Cutler. He doesn't say hello to me, Taz. Does he say hello to you, Anthony? He always walks around with his T-shirt off as well. Look, he's got a great body, Brandon. You've got a great body, mate. Put a bloody well, T-shirt great... on. <laughs> Give me See, mate. that's 50 degrees here. I mean, come oh, on. It's, it's raining. It is, it is absolutely pouring. Oh, Taz, <laughs> of, the, of the four men I'm about to mention, who's your least favorite? Cody Rhodes, Darby Allin. Tony Schiavone. Brandon oh, Cutler or Tony Schiavone. I was actually, you beat me to it. <laughs> Cutler. Co Cody's second. Rolls through. Oh, Cody's first, actually. Danny Wait, Limelight. Oh, oh, look at whoa. this. Work on Rana. He's got Cutler hooked deep. Very nearly ended the streak there. That was close. Limelight, great job. And Limelight, we've seen him. Danny can go, man. He's a heck of an athlete. He certainly can. And now looking for the stomp, but maybe tweaked his ankle there as Cutler sweeps out the leg. Nice sweep. Good job by Cutler. Coming over. Nice. Coming over the top of the senton. Hits the ropes and the leaping leg drop. Yeah, we, oh, here we go, cover, cover. You know, we, we've seen that a lot over over time here in AEW from Cutler. The one thing I don't think he gets enough credit for, and I could rip him, sure, but I'll give him a lot of credit. He does take up a lot of the ring. He's very rangy. He's got tremendous vertical leaping ability. Oh, he just got slapped in the face by Danny Limelight. Yeah, Danny not, Limelight. not here to play. My man out of Brooklyn. Danny uh -oh. Limelight, he's from Brooklyn. He's got pro two descent. There's been so many boxes with that descent. Oh! Big move. Mainly Miguel Cotto. And he's mm. like Miguel Cotto. He's a true fighter. Cover here? Yeah. Cutler hooks the near leg. Yeah. And he's bringing it. He's bringing it today. Lime. Oh, in Brooklyn, you want to talk about, you know, fight like, hey, you heard of Gleason's gym, I'm sure. 100%. I've been there. I've, I've trained I've there. Tons of training there myself, but in the grappling box, that is. But yes, of course. So. And that's actually in Williamsburg there, happy mass man. Well, I've been to Gleason's gym. I was stealing uh, in the locker room, stealing out of people's wallets while they were inside the ring. Oh, that's great. You're that guy. <laughs> Well, the arm of Cutler right now, thief. The arm of Cutler, torn up right here a little bit by Danny Limelight. You just say that because I cross my arms sometimes. <laughs> Cutler working on that shoulder, oh, that look elbow. That turnbuckle, look at that. And Danny Limelight God. trying to win by any means necessary here. What a blow that would be to Brandon Cutler, ending his streak, perhaps even injuring him. Ooh, nice high round kick. A little, a little, a little Little swivel there. Stay on him, man. Stay on him. Stay on color. He's gonna roll. Don't don't let him breathe on you. If you're Danny Limelight, that is. Cutler trying to. Oh, that that knee actually to the midsection. I think cut caught Cutler on the elbow, and then Danny Limelight followed up with that kick. Focused on that arm, forearm, elbow region of Cutler. Brandon Cutler very slow to get up and swinging a miss of the right hand. The boot now. Oh, nice. Limelight. Good job, that flying into that Juji Katami cross arm breaker right there. He don't have it extended, though. Cutler identifies the danger. He's got the hands clinched and trying to stack He's up got Limelight. Pick. He's got a oh, good job by referee Knox. He, I thought that shoulder was down. I, that's close, man. Limelight crossing those ankles, but Cutler able to power him up and plant him down. But how much damage has been done to that arm, Anthony? Yeah, he's taking about two or three big kicks in that elbow joint. Um, he's a big, strong boy, Brandon Cutler. He's a big, big, strong boy. Uh, well, we, we, we noticed that when he walks around he with his shirt around. off. Put, yeah. put a bloody shirt on! <laughs> Wait, why are you doing an accent now? I just love it. <laughs> That's offensive, Taz. <laughs> he's handy with his feet, isn't he, Danny Limelight? He sure is. He knows he sure what he's is. doing. Limelight. Oh! We got a little clunky Andy on that, but it worked. It did I, work. I see what you did there. 
That was good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oxymoron Jones. I'm glad it wasn't uh, lost on you, man. Hey, no. Hey, Taz, I just moved on. Taz calls it out when I do it, so I, I felt like I have to pay it forward. I'm just trying to call the action, guys. Oh, sorry, Taz. You know, you're, you're a real stickler here. Locked in. Student of the game. Yes. Cutler trying to fight up off his knees, but unable to match the power generated by Danny Limelight at a vertical position. Really stepping into that kick. Now Cutler digging deep with those big right hands. Danny Limelight needs to get those hands up, but instead, wrenches down on the arm. Looking perhaps for a knee bar, nope. Oh, wow. Oh, nice, that rear choke. Snuck out the back door. He doesn't have the hook in. He doesn't have that left hook in, but he's still got Cutler mm -hmm. down on the mat. You're right, sometimes that one leg, one, one of those legs, one grapevine's enough sometimes. He's and he flattens him out. He sure does, he's got this thing in tight. Cutler, though, gets, gets on his knees. He's carrying the weight of Danny Limelight. I personally think Cutler should have rolled to his right. It's a great way to get your opponent and shuffle him off of you. But he's but got some height, so he's, that worked. Yeah, just backs him into the corner. Limelight loses his grip. But, it, oh, immediately. Yeah, I love the tenacity of Danny Limelight. Returning and once again backed in. Cutler firing in those right elbows. And now with the headlock. Oh, Got Cutler the with a crucifix. Leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Danley's in trouble here, Limelight. Oh, wow, nice job by Cutler. He planted Limelight to almost a three count. Taz, I'm surprised he was able to hoist Limelight up with all the damage done to that left arm. I agree, and Cutler had a good cover with that cradle in the head. I mean, yeah, good job by Limelight to kick out, but impressive by Cutler. It's a good match. Danny Limelight really showing us a lot here tonight, Anthony. Yeah, what would this win do for his, uh, his career? Well, limelight, yeah, it'd be big. I mean, you know, he's got, he's got, you, you beat a guy who's established here in Cutler, who's patched together four nice wins, and you know, I think it would be a pretty big upset. I would assume, oh, for Danny Limelight at this point here in AEW. Cutler vaulting over the top, hitting that front face kick, and comes oh, around nice. with the NZ Gary. Danny Limelight got rocked. That was a nice job. Very nice by Cutler. Cutler, he's got Limelight hooked. And Lime, oh, couldn't couldn't oh, get him up for arm, that TPK. Yeah. The left arm. He's got that thing hammerlocked tight too. Cutler gets run to the ropes, but he's vaulting over the top. Springboards up, big right elbow strike. Danny Limelight, heads up move though, rolling the outside, putting some distance between himself and Cutler. Which Cutler got in mind is gonna go flying here. Yep. Chalfe oh! suicide, but. Limelight countered. He's got him in the Waka Katana on the outside. Yeah, great. Get that arm bar. Limelight really punishing that left arm. I love it. I, I mean, he could have had that in a little tighter, but it was great strategy by Limelight on the outside to hit a couple arm submissions. Let's take another look at this counter by Limelight. Yeah, right into the Waka Katana right here. You see right here and hooks it. I mean, a hard landing in the body of Cutler really splatted. I'm like, oh, buddy. oh, the springboard, but oh, Cut look at this. Cutler for all that damage done to that left arm. He's got Limelight caught and the TPK. Wow, good job there. Two, three, Brandon Cutler able to fight through the pain and pick up his fifth victory. Oh, uh, winner of this match, Brandon Cutler. Impressive, full rack teeth right there. Good job. By Cutler, now he can walk around backstage with five wins, no shirt on. After his fifth win, Anthony, he might be walking around with no pants on. Well, let's, uh, let's hope not. Let's hope not. Uh, that great win from Brandon Cutler, really good win. I like how he, he showed a great lot of agility with some big kicks towards the end of the match. And also, he showed great strength, even with a bad arm, catching Danny Limelight like that at the very end for the win. So, no, it was well nice. done, Brandon. It was well done, for sure, I agree. It was a good match. Danny Limelight has nothing to have shame on here. He had a really good outing here. It was a really good match by both these guys. And Brandon Cutler there picking up his fifth victory here in all elite wrestling. Can he keep this role going? This is the story of Matt and Nick Jackson, seen through their eyes. Over the past 20 years, they have documented their tireless journey, their triumphs, and their tribulations. And now they are ready to share their adventures with the world in their new book. One day, let's grow up and let's be professional wrestlers.
This is the story of two brothers that became two loving fathers that went on to become the best tag team in professional wrestling today. This is the story of the Young Bucks killing the business. Young Bucks, we're killing the business. One week after he picked up his first victory here on AEW Dark Pretty, Peter Avalon returns to singles action next. This contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from San Juan, Puerto Rico, weighing 175 pounds, John Cruz. John Cruz looks like he just raided the merch truck, Taz. Yeah, I know. I guess he got uh, some free merch. She passed it. I'll tell you what, uh, you know, we haven't seen John Cruz in a while. Had some issues with this guy once back in the day. Just letting you know about that. Did you? I never talked about it out there. Yeah, he kicked me off from there. Okay. And his opponent from Carson City, Nevada, weighing 182 pounds, pretty Peter. Avalon. Pretty Peter Avalon, man, he is just, I'll tell you what, I'm so impressed with this new Peter Avalon, the pretty Peter Avalon, it's great. Well, much like John Cruz visited shopaew.com to get that hat and t-shirt combo, you can look for a pretty Peter Avalon robe on shopaew.com. I mean, you can look, you're not gonna find one. But... What, I bet you he got that one on, at Amazon. <laughs> one that says Peter Avalon on oh, the back. Yeah, yeah, you get, uh, get them customized. Yeah, interesting. Sure. Oh, okay. I thought I thought they they sold them off the rack. They like all Peter said, they all said Peter Avalon I on the back. <laughs> you get one of this Peter Cottontail, whatever the freak you want. It's easy. Peter Avalon. Bucks, you know what I mean? Peter Abernathy. Peter Aaron. I love his music. Peter Aronson. <laughs> Peter Ardvark. Peter Piper. Picked a pack of pickled peppers. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right, here we go. Collar and elbow type. Cruising Avalon. Lock horns and oh, Cruz switching out. Av Avalon trying to protect that beautiful visage of his. Yeah, you can't hit the face. Don't hit the face. You see Avalon, do not hit the face. <laughs> Only hit Avalon in the face if he's a cameraman. <laughs> well, Avalon, I mean, it's a tough industry to be in if you cannot and will not and do not want to be hit in the face. I will tell you that. That's why sure. I retired, Tess, <laughs> to be quite honest. <laughs> I mean, you can't, I got sick happen. of it, man. You're gonna get hit in the face. I mean, it's just gonna happen. Collar and elbow tie up. Avalon back and cruise up to the corner, or not the corner, to the ropes. Yeah, it's actually the center of the ring. Coming, I mean, some kind of an area. He was equidistant from yeah. both corners. Yeah. <laughs> Leapfrog up and over goes Avalon. Cruz sent, sends Avalon into the ropes, drops down. Leapfrog goes up and over. Avalon once again puts on the brakes. Terrified of the, the getting hit in the mush. And he's got that perfectly manicured mustache, that adult film star-esque you know, mustache he's got over there. Hip toss there by Cruz, deep arm oh, drag. Oh, Big Takes down Avalon, oh, one for the Polish hammer. But no, the step up Tierras from John Cruz. It's John Cruz is such a ham, he really is. Taz, what's your issue with the guy? Uh, you know what, it's just, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for elucidating me. No problem. Enlightening right there. I don't well, like the dirty laundry. You know what I mean? I don't oh, like no, you know, I'm like, I'm so unlike you. Yeah, it's not me, you know. All right, Avalon, come on now. Yeah, there you go. Pretty Peter, pretty Peter, say that five times. Take three. Pretty Peter Avalon. Come on. <laughs> I don't even know how to respond. <laughs> you can't. There's no response. But I'll tell you this here. There's no response to this boot across the jaw of oh, John Cruz. John Cruz. Look how we brought it back around full uh, circle. Broadcast professionals put, here. You're damn right, buddy. Oh, pretty Peter Avalon just popping the face, the chest, with the chops. Not playing games. Avalon laying in those heavy right hands okay, to the okay. face of John Cruz. Vertical suplex takes him over. Covers. <laughs> Avalon. He's just a, he's just out there, man. Just... Pretty Peter pulling a face. Yeah. Cruz fighting up, but Avalon shuts him down right there. Yeah, look at him. He's just focused how he stalks his opponent. He's got that, you know, he's just kind of got that saggy ass body that he's got, but I'll tell you what, he's got good looks though, you know what I mean? 
It's pretty. I'm over, you know. Just, I'm just saying, I love Peter Avalon. You know that. Pretty Peter. Lateral press. Look at that cover right there. That's a gentlemanly way to cover a guy. Just. <laughs> it's a gentleman's cover? I mean, I. Did, do you learn a gentleman's cover at a gentleman's club? Yeah, sure. While well, you smoke the cigar. Look at that face. Look at the prime rib special. Drink a little cognac. I believe it's pronounced cognac. Okay. I, where I'm from, it's cognac. Because I know a lot of French people, but I digress. A lot of French people in Red Hook? Yeah, tons. Okay. Tons. And Avalon, look, he's all, he's just, he, he, Cruz can't get out of his own way here. And Avalon really doing a good job of laying in those right hands to the head, the face of John Cruz. Cruz unable to rock Avalon, but he stepped out of the way. Shot to the midsection, doubles, doubles over Avalon. Big elbow strike, a second one. Wow, good job by Cruz, it really is. Cruz, Irish whip into the ropes. Big flying forearm drops, Peter Avalon. Definitely brought it right there. Oh, nice kip up. John Cruz rallying the crowd to his side. Charging in, oh! A shot right there. Big pop to the prominent Poboskis of Purity Peter Avalon. Oh, a second one. And the fans asking to see it once again. Peter Avalon catching Cruz on the shoulders and the fireman's yeah, he carry. Caught, he got caught. Oh! Flattens him and now Avalon Martinez. Might get it now. Gonna get it. Avalon covers two, three. The winner of this match, Pretty Peter Avalon. Pretty Peter Avalon picks up his second consecutive victory, his second ever victory here in all elite wrestling. He is, tell you what, he's on a roll. He's got the great looks. Look at him. That's the, uh, the martinis. Uh, martini. Yeah, yeah, martinis, I should say, yes. And Peter Avalon. this match. On a win streak here in AEW. Can he keep the momentum going? Taz with more performances like this. Pretty Peter Avalon could be picking up one, prominent wins, victories. Streak. Well, that That's a winning streak, baby. The woman of war, Shanna, makes her return to all elite wrestling here tonight next on AEW Dark. This contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from Chelsea, Michigan, Tesha Price. Taz, so another chance to see Tesha Price. She has a lot of ability, a lot of promise, but thus far has been unable to put it together. Perhaps tonight will be her opportunity to do so. Yeah, she's had definitely good outings. A great look, excellent athlete. And her opponent from Nîmes, France, Shanna. Shanna making her return to all elite wrestling. Her first match in over eight months. She was stuck quarantining in France. Much like our broadcast colleague, Anthony Agogo, she had to, uh, she had to travel overseas, I believe. Somewhere, uh, somewhere in the Caribbean to uh, quarantine for two weeks before coming to the States, but she's done so here, and now she's back in AEW. Well, welcome back to Shanna. Let's see uh, if she can get, get it going here after Tesha Price. An aggressive collar and elbow tie up here to start off this match. Shanna takes down Tesha Price. Tesha Price trying to uh, calm down the pace of this match. Well, eight months is a long layoff. I mean, not. Not quite sure. I mean, if she's had any matches. I'm sure she's had some gym training, but it's tough, you know, with everything going on with the pandemic. All these months has been difficult. Obviously, athletes of not just pro wrestlers. So, you know, it's tough. You got to go to the proverbial ring rust and wonder if Shanna will have some of that. Shanna, Shanna will have some of that. Well, we saw on Dynamite the Bastard Pack returning to action after eight months quarantine in the in England and. Shanna taking Tesha Price off her feet. A Japanese arm drag there. Pack looked great, but Eddie Kingston and the family 
were able to, to swarm oh, Death that Triangle. Was just some mayhem. That was that was a, a it was great stuff on Dynamite for sure. It was wild, man. Step up work on Rana. Crucifix there. One, two. Nope. Tasha Price able to kick out. Yeah, nice kick out. Spot for Tessa Ooh. to reset, but it didn't work. Shanna baited Tesha Price in. Dropped to hold. I think Price may have uh, collided face first with that center strand. What was Shanna doing there? She was kind of doing some kind of a uh, pop and lock type gimmick. Oh, oh, oh man. No. Shanna went for the drop kick. Her right ankle got caught on that middle rope and she just dropped face first. Referee Aubrey Edwards checking on the condition of Shanna. Well, you know, Tessa Price, she realized the opening was there. You can saw it in her face. We had a great camera shot of, of her face, and Price knew it. And she zoned in, sense of urgency amped up. That's what you want to do when you see your opponents in harm's way. And now looking to continue punishing the woman of war, Shanna, using that hair, to, drawing the head backwards, and now, oh, the Ooh. kick to the midsection with the arms strung up in the ropes. Price has a mean streak, Tessa Price. I like it. She definitely has a mean streak. You know, it's, you need that. I don't care if you're male, female, don't matter. You know, you got to have a mean streak to be successful in this game. She's bringing Shanna back over to the corner by her hair. Tessa Price in firm control of this matchup. And Tez, I think uh, ring rust may be an issue. You might have been right. Could be. I think, you know, when she missed and hit that drop kick and, and her ankle buckled and hit the second rope and whatnot. You know, we've talked about the ropes. They're, they're, they're tight, they're hard. There's steel cables under the under the rubber and the tape and whatnot. So, you know, they're tight as hell and they could really mess up your body. I'm telling you that from experience. Shanna sent hard into the corner. Tesha Price, the cartwheel into the roundhouse kick and the running bulldog. Tesha Price has an opportunity here. Covers one, two, no. Well, she had a good cover. She had all her weight up. She hooked the leg and everything, but not enough. You know, Shanna's showing a lot of toughness there. Referee Aubrey Edwards telling Tesha Price, loosen up those right hands. Cover here. Two count. Well, I think it's smart if you're Price, keep on covering a force Shanna to kick out and exert more energy. Completely blow her up cardiovascularly wise. And I think that, that might have been. Smart to do instead of going to submission, just my opinion. Keep on with, with making him, making your opponent kick out. It, it's it, you know, as you know, I mean, you know, it really, it really, it, it taxes it, the cardiovascular it really system. Does, man, Shanna sits out, rolls up, Tesha Price deep hooks here too. No, Price kicks out. Tough kick out. You're stacked up on oh. the head, Ooh, right to the gut. And pushing the pace is Tesha Price. Shanna, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. She's got the boot caught. Tasha Price thinking about her options here. Shanna, oh! Chopped to the chest, elbow chop combination here. Shanna is fed up and firing up. Reversal here, Shanna escapes, stunner! Well done. Price is in grave danger right now. And now Tasha Price against that bottom rope. Shanna, the second time could be the charm. It's the ropes, charges in, drop, kick to the face. Tasha Price pulled back towards center. Shanna, oh, double over hooks here. Tiger suplex high bridge, one, two, three. Count to 10, man. Well, no winner of this match, Shanna. Sometimes we're in a bridge that's done as well as Shanna did that bridge. She was on her forehead. That's one of the better bridges you're gonna see. You actually get stuck in the bridge. It sounds weird. You can't, you can't get out. Sometimes, you know, you, it can happen. Look how tight she's on her forehead. That's an awesome bridge right there. And I think she was stuck for a second. It happened. Shanna making her return to AEW here tonight on Dark and making up for lost time with an important victory here tonight. Sky, I spoke with Sean Spears. He says he is not giving you a rematch. Your thoughts? We have women's action coming up right now. Kylie King is going to rock and roll. This
about is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from Long Island, New York, Catalina Perez. Tans, we're getting our second look at Catalina Perez here tonight, the queen pin from Strong Island. Yeah, I know. She's, uh, you can see Perez is a young lady that she don't play games. Don't no play no games. Got that Northeast vibe, Long Island girl. She's definitely probably from the South Shore. And look at those earrings, Taz. Yeah, yeah. She's not playing around with that hair. And those earrings. Not a North Shore girl. Even Tony Schiavone could hula hoop in those earrings. I would be shocked if he had a pair. Say, he's a, he's a jewelry enthusiast. Love well, earrings. At least since 1976. And her opponent from Painesville, Ohio, Kylie King. The queen of crazy Kylie King last week here on AEW Dark picked up her second victory inside an all elite wrestling ring. Looks to keep the momentum going here tonight, but she will have to contest with the queen pin. And before this match gets underway, would like to remind everybody about AEW heels. AllEliteHeels.com is a new community for women who love professional wrestling. Follow it on Instagram at AEW underscore Heels. AllEliteHeels.com, a lot of great events coming up in the near future. As Kylan King takes the side headlock here. Oh, nice headlock takedown. Very well done. Kylan King grounding her opponent. And uh, Catalina well, Perez, so though, head scissors. Yeah, it's good good uh, pacing right there. You get yourself your lock of head scissors in. Maybe, well, try to waist lock. Yeah, a little late with that waist lock. Well, she didn't really waist lock her. But Kylan King rolled over, got the side headlock, trying to grind out her opponent here in the early stages of this matchup. Yeah, that's smart to go right to the head. Let's see her ear. I don't know if you can tell. King's ear, because she has the headlock, she puts her head down on her opponent. Not a lot of people do that. That's. Tightens the hold. That's really well done by King. It does uh, does speak to the height advantage Kylan King has over most of the competitors here in the women's division. Scoop and a slam by the Queen of Crazy. Covers here, hooks the far leg. Yeah, Kylie King definitely got some height. She's probably, you know, damn near six foot. I know I'm probably about an inch taller than her, so yeah, she's about six foot. That math checks out. Anyway, so let's see what happens here. Catalina Perez being brought up by Kylan King. King though getting whipped down by the hair and Perez left her feet putting a little extra mustard on that one Taz. Yeah, you, yeah she did definitely Excalibur you're right. You can see Perez, she's, she's a tough lady. You can just tell by her appearance of physicality right there. Toughness. Big uppercut knocks her back to Kylan King able to kick out. But you know, speaking of tough we know Kylan King is she's very tough so we got two rough and tumble, hard hitting ladies here. Look at that. Wow, that's how you ground and pound somebody. Big overhand shots. Now the cover here. Two. King able to break free once again. Great pressure being shown by the Queen Pin. Dad, do you think that's how this match was made? Kenley Perez is the Queen Pin. Kylan King is the last name King. No. No, no, no. no. That's not how it works here. Nope. That's not how the matchmakers do it. I know the matchmakers. Oh, okay. They make matches by different uh, by rhythms and uh, electronic rhythms. Oh! <laughs> Missile drop kick, big time. Kylan King with a huge opportunity here, rocking her opponent with that missile drop kick. A lot of impact there. Blocks a clothesline, roundhouse kick. Kylan King, German wow. suplex folded her in half. She had great explosion in the hips. King did on that German. Really, yeah. really good stuff there. The Perez is hurt. Can't leave. Oh, maybe playing possum there. Hits the jawbreaker shot to the. Look at caught her on the hip, but it doubled over Kylan King. Oh, no, Kylan King. Ooh, throws Catalina Perez into that top rope. Hoister up the kingdom. Covers, hooks the far leg, one, two, three. The winner of this match, Kylan King. Kylan King, dominant right there. Strong victory over a tough, tough athlete, but hey, Kylan King, man, she's, she's gathered up some wins, man. Some press effects, Calvin. Three wins here for Kylan King. 
great victory here tonight. She keeps the momentum going. We had a crazy screaming at everybody. And Taz, I mean, you know, once once she took that first important step, she picked up that first victory. I, that gave her a boost of confidence here. Yeah, no, I completely agree. Once she got the, the once she nailed that, it was just all over but the shouting as the expression goes. Very good job. Kai Lynn crazy. King. Yeah. Victorious here tonight on AEW Dark. Well, check out this exciting, seems to be exciting tag team match with Sean Maluda and Adam Priest. They're gonna go head off against best friends. This is a tag team bout set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring at a combined weight of 378 pounds, the team of Adam Priest and Sean Maluda. We've had a few looks at Adam Priest and Sean Maluda individually here in AEW. It's the first time teaming up here tonight, but Taz, these two guys are pretty tough competitors. Yeah, both individually, definitely all. Let's see how they work in the unit. Going and their opponents, at a combined weight of 418 pounds, Chuck Taylor, Trent, Best Friend. Cassidy in the house. There he is, Orange, always fired up. <laughs> yeah, man, he is. Uh, See you, thank you. He's like in a bad mood tonight, huh? Oh, yeah. Nice. He told me he, he loves being on dark. You know, so I said, we love having you, Orange. Orange Cassidy's fired up about our big winter is coming special edition tomorrow night of Dynamite for fans here in the Jacksonville area. You can get our triple threat holiday season pass. There he is. Dynamite returns here on December 2nd, tomorrow night, December 16th, December 30th. You can get tickets to all three events for $45 plus fees. It is available by calling 904-633-2000 or via email at ticketing at boldeventsjacks.com. Outdoor, physically distant seating in compliance with state and local and CDC regulations and guidelines. And the great part when you come to see AEW live, you know, you get to see Team Taz live and in Technicolor. Myself, the newest member, Will Hobbs, the big powerhouse. Machine Brian Cage, FT Dub Champ, and of course, absolute Rick the Starks. That's what happens. That's the greatest thing on Dynamite, but I digress. Maluda with the arm ringer here. Arm control, I should say. With the arm ringer really yes. wrenching on that left arm. Are you talking to your invisible friend, Keith? No, I was talking to you. I was oh, okay. acknowledging you. No, he, he, he went home. Right? Okay. <laughs> he left. So I have a lock now. Maluda, Bye. Maluda yeah, trying to, trying to grab back and then Drop toe hold front chancery. Chuck Taylor rolls through. Yeah, he floated over to that quickly to that front headlock, but I don't know why Maluda let it go for a second. That's not a good deal in my opinion. And Maluda, I'm a fan of his work. Definitely works hard, and I've seen him go many times over the past, you know, a couple of years in his, that I've witnessed him in his career, I should say. Chuck Taylor offering the tag out to Trent. Adam Priest will see his first action for his team. Yeah, powerhouse. The uh, proverbial low center of gravity, you know, good quads. You can see right there with the long tights, just thickly built. Adam, Athlete, you know. Whoa, wow. big, big, big Matt big, return. Yeah, big time Matt return, no doubt. Adam Priest was very close to picking up his first AEW victory last week Oof. against Brandon Cutler. Cutler was able to weather the storm of Priest. We'll see if best friends can weather the storm of Maluda and Priest here tonight. Oh, Trent. Good job by Trent. He almost lost his balance, but he showed the power. Catch it. Preston lays him out with wow. a gut buster. Trent, very nonchalant. Yeah, we saw it. It was on video. It was a great job, Trent. <laughs> that was a little Trent, northern lights. Here. Northern lights on his tippy toes, belly button to the sky, but just a two count on Adam Priest. Yeah, he doesn't get a clasp on that. He kind of just pushes the guy right in front of his quad over. You know, it's an interesting way to do northern lights. It works. I didn't get the win on it, but it's a good, good way to get some impact throwing a guy. Double Irish rip here by best friends. There you go. Shake of the hands, drop of the elbows. I mean, I understand. I mean, I, you know, Chuck, Trent, respect these guys. We're on a long time. They're very successful. We know this. Well documented. But what's the obsession with the world knowing they're friends, you know? Well, I mean, they're, they're best friends, Taz. If you had a best friend, you'd know about that. Cover here by Chuck oh. Taylor. One, two. 
Two sometimes I think Ricky Stalks is my best friend, but he gets on my nerves sometimes. Usually when he's doing commentary. Yes, a lot of times, actually. Uh, Hobbs, I like. Oh, 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 oh wow. Vicious oh. cross chop to the windpipe. Step up NZ Gary there by Adam Priest. Oh, nice Whoa. German. Quick, quick snap German now. Explosive German by Priest, and he tags out to Maluda. Best friends are the number two ranked tag team here in all elite wrestling. Maluda Simone dropped there. This would be a, a gigantic upset for Maluda and Priest, and right now they are well positioned to do so, Taz. Yeah, they got Trent bounced around, got a cover by Maluda here. Oof. Bouncing around Trent, which is no joke, tough to do, but Maluda impressive, as was Priest. Maluda bringing uh, Trent up to the vertical position, courtesy of his hair, and drops him down with that knife edge chop. A lot of power in that chop. Oh, wow. <laughs> Luda didn't want to look at Chuck Taylor's face anymore on that apron. I like that. Charges into the corner. Nobody home. Trent grabs the head of Maluda looking for the swinging DDT. And that was excellently done by Trent. And Trent looking over at the corner. Finally, Chuck back up on the apron makes the tag. Clothesline takes down Priest. One for Maluda as well. High boot takes down Priest. Chuck Taylor. Sends Priest into the ropes, pops him up, oh. drops him down. Tucky Gentleman's on fire here, my friend. Oh, Sean Maluda grabbing the boot of Chuck Taylor. Taylor able to kick free. Oh, oh. powerful spear by Trent on the outside. Yeah, Trent bringing it for sure. Look at Priest now. Maluda's going to go toe to toe with Chuck, but Chuck dropped him. Elbow strike. Rocks Priest back to the corner. Chuck Taylor, nobody home there. Blind tag by Trent. Oh, wow. Priest got rocked. Looked like Chuck was leaving, but. And now a second knee strike, this time from Trent. Chuck Taylor tagged back in. Great tag team precision here by best friends. Oh, watch that half and half. Soul food. Oh, God. Combination sends Priest for a loop. And they're telegraphing it a little bit, Taz, but you got to give the people what they want. There it is. There it is. Thanks. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, another one. Oh, my God. Spike pile driver and a jumping pile driver by Chuck Taylor. Got to be done. Covers two, three. No way to this yeah, you're not going to kick out of not one, but two strong, impactful pile drivers by two established pros like best friends. This is not going to happen. Taz, best friends did a great job of neutralizing Sean Maluda on the outside. Trent hit that massive spear, and it was all academic once they went to work quick on Adam Priest. Yeah, quick short pile driver, and a little more of a delay pile driving oh. here. So by Chuck Taylor. That's nasty. Two pile drivers back to back. Well, the Young Bucks are the AEW World Tag Team Champions. The best friends, the number two ranked team would love nothing more to get a shot at the titles. It could be happening in the near future. All right, guys, here we go. I can't wait to see it. Whoa. Oh my gosh, Chris, you've completely outdone yourself. But dead ass, yo, how is this even possible? I mean, look at the craftsmanship. It's so beautiful. Look how it turned out. It's absolutely exquisite. Drink what the demo god drinks. A little bit of the bubbly is back, baby. Supplies are limited. Go to littlebitofthebubbly.com and order now. Get it before it's gone, because last year sold out. Viva el vino brioso! Yay! Ay, ay, ay. The librarian, Leva Bates, returns to action here tonight in the women's division on AEW Dark. This contest is set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Making her way to the ring from San Antonio, Texas, Alex 
Gracia. Alex Gracia known as the pink dream, but right now I'm currently in the midst of an orange nightmare because I'm beset on both sides by members of Team Taz. Yeah, orange, I like that. You just give it the pink, segue to the orange, written stocks in the house, I love it. Good job there, you got a future in this business, Excalibur. <laughs> and her joker, bro. From Fairvale, California, Lima Beats. Oh, got the Young Bucks killed a business book. That's an opportunity to book. That is available at youngbucksbook.com. Young Bucks killing the business from the backyards to the big leagues. It's a great, uh, it's a great read. It's a, huh. it's a quick read. I devoured it on a, a single plane ride. Well, you like books. So my best friends. You like best friends from Bucks for a long time, right? Best friends. Is Leva trying to politic by bringing that book out here? Absolutely. Hey, she knows where her bread is buttered, and so do I, guys. I love that book. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. Well, I used to you know, talk to the young bucks all the time, and then once I formed Team Taz, I, I don't hear from the bucks anymore. I don't get a chance to chat them up. They don't chat me up. I don't know where the heat is, but I guess it's heat. It's called switching up when you get a taste of the fame, you know? Thanks. Thanks, sir. Alex Gracia in pink. Leva Bates. In the orange and black. Oh, sportsmanship. She's not, she's not, hold on a second. She's not wearing orange and black. Oh, it's burnt sienna. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's, it's more of a Texas orange. So let's be honest. I've wore that color kind of before. A chocolate brown or maybe black. It's copper. Two. More copper. Three. Good point. Yeah. Duracell. Yeah, like a Duracell battery. Duracell battery, like yeah. A Duracell battery. That's what leave it. Bates is dressed like a Duracell battery. Yeah. Hashtag SpawnCon. Hashtag ad. I don't know what those are, but. Call it top. Sounds like Nerd Fest City, but that's enough. Yeah, hashtag nerd. <laughs> SpawnCon is sponsored content. Hashtag ad is hashtag ad. Uh, how about hashtag who gives a rat's ass? Yeah. Anyways, let's get rolling here. Turn that one down. Oh. <laughs> Next is cool. Control the arm by Gracious. Oh, look at that. Picking the ankle. Sweeps up the leg of Leva Bates and getting in the face. Leva Bates goes for the trip. Alex Gracia coming off and. Walked right into that abdominal yeah, stretch. Yeah, you that much. You're right, Excalibur. The abdominal stretch. You know, I, I, I thought maybe she was going to go for a backdrop or something. Now she's telling her to hush herself. She's big to be quiet. Chopped, uh, chopped out the knee or chopped at the knee and hit the hip toss. Now Gracia charging in. Back elbow in the corner. Drops Leva Bates down to a seated position. Gracia, oh, big Ooh. running knee strike. Yeah, Leva Bates hurting. She's hurt. She might be knocked out. Hooks the far leg. Grassi only gets a two count. Well, she's smart to, you know, you grab your opponent by the head, you control the head, you control the whole body, and that's what Alex is doing right there. Oh, oh. What a shot right there. Big shot right step. hand, yeah. Leva Bates in trouble here. Irish whip to the corner, reverse there. Leva Bates charging in, sent over the top. Gracia. Through the right hand, Leva Bates, roundhouse Ooh, kick. What a shot. Leva Bates, Leva, quick roll. Rolls through, hits the spear, Ricky Starks-esque. I mean, not as good oh, as me, oh, but oh. close enough, I guess. Kick to the midsection, Leva Bates comes off the ropes, oh. to the side of the head. Librarian Leva Bates here in the driver's seat. Northern Lights here. Northern Lights suplex on her tippy toes. Gracia kicks out at the last possible moment. Yeah, Gracia's showing, uh, Alex showing a lot of toughness. Sternum first. Oh! Backstabber by Leva Bates. She covers, hooks the leg. Two count. Leva Bates stringing together some Intense offense here. Yeah, she's uh, she, she's starting to it's kind of get her sea legs under a little bit here as a competitor. But Alex Gracia just putting up put the brakes on there. Gracia reverses. Uh oh, rolls leave it through. As the body scissors applied. A pin here. Oh, I thought she was go for a pin. No, instead, she's gonna sit on her head. Uh oh. Oh, a little bridge action. Oh, Gracia bridging back. She's got the arm of Leva Bates captured underneath her. Her shins. Wow, Taz, you used to teach those neck bridges. I did. Go yes. over here, Gracia. Oh, Gracia, very nearly pinned Leva. Oh. I thought she was going for a uh, roll through here. She's got Gracia captured. Wow. And got it. The winner of this match, Leva beats. I
thought she was going to bring her all the arm in and get a three-quarter Nelson, but she didn't need this. She got the, the win anyway. Oh, Re referee Frank Gasly must visit the library <laughs> that Lever works in. Guess you can say she's Alex is going to read them and we. <laughs> Hell yeah, now, let's go. Leave a base. I mean, that's a terrible business model. You can't just give those books away. I don't understand it. Just have a fight with a girl. You beat well, the hell out of each other. Wait a minute. She what? saved Alex Grassi a trip to she's to young no, she's that's not going to you know? get you a job. What the hell's going on here, Alex? This is, this is ludicrous. What? We're out of here. Cut this. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs>
Maybe he paid the talent. team task tuition. Oh, you just heard it. You heard it, the, the dad, the Eagle Maniac, Billy Gunn. I taught him that. Yeah, you know what, Billy? I never seen you do that to me. <laughs> Knee lift to the midsection there by VSK, cutting off Austin Gunn's progress. But Austin returns fire with that arm drag on Angel Fashion. Yeah, as much as I dislike the Gun Club, Austin doing a good job controlling the arm. Very good, smart to tag in. His dad, I, I think that was a good move at the right time to tag him in. Shot to the midsection, boot to the side of the head. Fashion hates the drop kick from Colton Gunn. Gunn family firing on all cylinders here. Barely a one count there on Angel Fashion. The ref needs to get control of this match. Why does she let all three of them in the ring at oh, once? Oh, I know the answer. I have the answer. Money? Because, no, because Billy decides to dance with Aubrey Edwards before every match. Nice. So he curries favor with her. Ooh. Big right hand drops VSK, but Angel Fashion there, clothesline. You know, Aubrey used to be a professional dancer. Who cares? I don't care about that. She's a great ref, and that's all I need her to be here in this company. Is a great ref. Break the broadcast table. Why get all fired up? I'm screaming for no reason. I have nothing against dancers, by the way. I don't want no problems. I like all sorts of dancers. <laughs> Please, let's not be sophomore here, okay, Ricky? Come on. We're not in Team Taz Clubhouse now. Angel nice reversal. Fashion sending Colton Gunn into the corner. Austin. How about Austin? You get in the corner. Snot nose. I was just okay. about to say that, Taz. Took the word right out my mouth. Great. Sean Donovan, the uh, the bruiser for his trio, hits the ropes. And whoa! Oh. A little bit big, of a misdirect there on the elbow drop, but. Big dude for sure. Covers here. Shaking, not stirred. I like that, Donovan. Sean. <laughs> How did you do like a James Bond thing on the last? Two names for one, all right. Let's see, VSK is gonna work over Colton here in his own corner. Oh, oh no, boot Colton up. gets the boot up, drops Angel Fashion. A little bit of a backhand, oh! Double clothesline, both men down. <laughs> okay, I, 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 I mean, Red, stay in the corner there, gun club. Tag out to Austin, gun, Sean Donovan eats a clothesline, Angel Fashion gets dropped. Uppercut there in the corner. Austin Gun. Whoa, Austin Gun changes his mind. Another uppercut. Rocks. Angel Fashion back and oh, little little bit of a trip there. Oh, he clipped the knee. I like that. I actually like what he did there. Flipping neck breaker. Austin Gun covers. Fashion there to break it up though. Well, I'm sure Billy's gonna explain to Austin. Get the arm under the bottom rope. His arm, the, the kid's arm was outside the rope a little bit. VSK, VSK yeah, yeah. enters the ring for his team. Little Bypass, quick draw there by Austin Gunn. Covers, one, two, three. Oh. Uh, the ego, the ego's gonna keep on going. The Gun Club. This guy's got another victory. The Gun Club has been on a roll. They really have. Ricky Starks was so disgusted by that, he ejected the SIM card from his mobile phone. Well, he's finally got it, you know, when you text him now, he's blue, but that's all another story. All right, man. Damn. Well, Gun Club continues the path of progress here. An impressive victory this time. Austin Gun with a quick draw test. Yeah, quick draw works all the time for Austin Gun. And the annoyance will continue. I'll tell you what, that Austin Gun's keeps smirking over here. He better talk to his daddy and realize that I can whoop somebody's ass still. Right or wrong, it's Cody. Yeah, no, ask him. Oh, you can. <laughs> This is the story of Matt and Nick Jackson, seen through their eyes. Over the past 20 years, they have documented their tireless journey, their triumphs, and their tribulations. And now, they are ready to share their adventures with the world in their new book. One day, let's grow up and let's be professional wrestlers. This is the story of two brothers that became two loving fathers that went on to become the best tag team in professional wrestling today. This is the story of the Young Bucks killing the business. Young Bucks, we're killing the business. Matt Seidel has looked impressive of late, but can he keep the momentum going against Aaron Solo? We'll find out next here tonight on AEW Dark. This contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, from South San Francisco, California, weighing 175 pounds, Aaron Solo. 
a man known very well to the man sitting next to my right. Well, Absolutely. Absolute Ricky Starks. Absolute Ricky Starks used to team with Aaron Solo, and now I am going solo. <laughs> you, won't be, you won't be solo tomorrow night. No. Oh, I can't wait, man. Makes you would hop. Turn it up, there. Turn it up on Cody and Dobby. Hit it! And his opponent, from Clearwater, Florida, weighing 166 pounds, Matt Sardell! Third Eye Jones, Matt Seidel, a man that has uh, first-hand experience with Brian Cage just a few weeks ago on AEW Dynamite Tag. Well, I sung the praises of Matt Seidel uh, in a, a tape-related interview live in the ring, and yep. for a good reason. Okay, because uh, Matt Seidel is excellent. He wasn't enough to defeat the machine Brian Cage, the FT Dub champ, but he still is excellent. I'll tell you what, I think this match here, guys, is going to be real good. I'm a fan of Aaron Solo's in-ring abilities. You know, that I know. Ricky, Ricky, you have to bury him sometimes, but with your former buddies and roommates. But I do think that Solo and uh, and, and Seidel have a lot, a kind of similarities in the ring. So similarities. How so? Way, size, you know. Oh. But how about we try this? When I speak, you don't. How about that part? Like when it's Halba talks, we don't talk. You talk, well, we don't talk. I don't, don't know talk. about that, Tess. So, I'm sorry, on, Taz. Now. I just mistime it when I think you're done. That's all. <laughs> I'm never done, bro. Run on Sutton Jones, bro. <laughs> That's it. Here we go. There we go. Seidel. And Solo going nose to nose here. Last week here on Dark, Matt Seidel picked up big victory over number five of the Dark Order, Allen Angels. Very competitive matchup, great showing by Angels, but Seidel, his experience, his savvy is too much. Well, I think you're right, Excalibur, and that's what we've seen weeks here, for weeks, I should say. With Seidel, for the most part, in his victories, it's because he does have a lot more experience. Nice flying mare, you don't see that much. You just see a snap mare. You know that, Ricky? That's a flying man. Bro. I like a that. A little old school on it. Right? Antonio Roca actually uh, popularized that, but uh, what do I know? I don't know about that, but yeah, you just want to kind of throw out you some old school names. Collar Noah Talk there. Needed the Rocca. midsection by Solo. It's not Roca. It's Rocca. Right or wrong, it's Calvin. It's Rocca. It is Rocca. And uh, sitting to my right, as I mentioned, Ricky Starks. Absolute Ricky Starks will team up with the powerhouse yes. Hobbs tomorrow night. Yeah. We'll take on the team of Cody Rhodes and oh. the TNT champion Darby Allen on our biggest ever edition of AEW Dynamite tomorrow night, 8 7 Central on TNT. Spoiler alert, we are winning. <laughs> Me and Hobbs, we're about to take it to the next level, baby. Let's do the damn thing. Huh? Damn right, damn right, damn right. Right hands by Solo. Aaron dropkick, Ooh. but a kick across the back allows Matt Seidel. To hit that standing Mariposa, great twist there. One, two, no. Solo able to kick out. Mariposa, I like that that name. Who popularized that move? Mariposa. Okay, cool. Matt Mariposa. Oh no, you were right the first time. It was Mary Posa. Space. Posa. Yeah, Mary Mariposa. Mariposa actually means butterfly. Smart. It means, I taught him. It that. actually means yellow butterfly. Well, you were close. Uh, you see, right now, Seidel's injured. I know it didn't. I know that I can't pronounce word, certain words correctly, but hey, at least I know it. Well, Solo knows that he's on fire right now. He's impressive. So when you guys were tagging, Ricky, you were, you were the better of the two between you and Solo? Well, you know, that's up to debate for some people, but the general consensus was just that it was me that was the popular one out of the group. I did all the social media, really? the PR work. I'm actually talking about the wrestling. Is this you know, he looks pretty good, Solo. I've, t I've taught him that. That's it. I'm not Every talking about the clerical work. Everything everything that you like from Solo, I taught him. So you should be thanking me, really. <laughs> Solo hard whip into the corner, follows up with the clothesline on Matt Seidel. I didn't tell him the hair thing, but yeah. that's smart. A little uh, taking a page out of Roche Chanel's playbook there. <laughs> Interesting, yeah. yes. Roche Ooh. Chanel uh, yeah. from the fashion capital world, Paris. Matt Seidel not taking too kindly oh, to that. Oh, a little high cradle suplex right there. Uh, okay, Taz, yeah, you well, saw that? Yeah, it's all right. Ah. I like, I like Aaron. Okay. Very nice suplex there by Aaron Solo, but slow to capitalize, Taz. Yeah, you can't, you know, he's yes. going to go for it again here. All right. I didn't teach him that. No, no, but you know what? It's, um, 
Yeah. You see Matt Seidel a little dazed. Solo goes for the cover. Lateral press just to two count. I'll tell you this. He's definitely influenced by someone at this table. <laughs> a wrestling wizard, should I say. Oh, Some, somebody whose uh, who's juice he used to drink? <laughs> <laughs> No, he thinks that he ate my food. He ate my groceries when I would bring it home, but that's not the case. Oh! <laughs> the heel of Matt Seidel colliding with the chin of oh. Aaron Solo. Follows up with a knife edge chop. The throw to the corner. Solo, though, got his elbow up. Back Seidel off. Look at that. Whoa. Pops up, grabs him in the tiers and a leg lariat. Seidel's yeah. heel once again drops Aaron Solo. Seidel wants him up. Oh. Swept out the leg. Solo gets hung up on the center strand. Now Matt Seidel. He's got that yeah. inside hook. Ooh. A Northern Lights bomb. Covers one, two. No! Oh, good job right there, Solo. Solo able to kick out. Matt Seidel channeling Kensuke Sasaki there with that Northern Lights bomb. See Sasaki's name I've heard in a long time. I just oh, watched it. Oh, look at that. Oh, nice job. Body scissors and the stomp from side er, from Solo onto Seidel. Solo's damn good. You sure you were better than him, Ricky? When you guys team. Oh, screw high kick. Drop Seidel. <laughs> Love nice, it. Nice, nice, nice. Pushing over into the pin. No, Seidel able to kick out. This is why we get along, Taz. I don't take anything you say to heart. It doesn't hurt me. Well, you know, I'm and just you, Well, yeah, I know friendly, it's, all, it's you know, tough yeah. love. Yeah, you know. I'm built for it tough, as well, my well, mama said. Listen, you ultra, uber successful. You don't need me to be successful. Thick skin. We know that, but you know what? It's just great, man. Everything's great. FT dub, bro, all the way. Side oh, out. oh, oh look, look at that. Great capture. Whoa. And then rolls through. Crucifix. Whoa. Nice job by Solo to get out of that, I'll tell you. Side out. Oh, that knee strike, rising knee. Side out, building up momentum, goes around, drops him down, arm. Almost captured. He's got it on. Got He's got it locked clutch. in. Yeah, that Cobra clutch. A grounded Cobra clutch by Matt Seidel. Cranking back on the neck of Aaron Solo. Solo though, gets his knees under him. Through. Yeah, he should sit through it. I, I wouldn't have got to a vertical base. I would have sat through, but it's working. What Aaron did. Kick to the top of the knee. Pump kick caught oh, oh, on the oh, oh. shoulder. Oh, oh the roundhouse. Rattles Solo and a half's got the lick. Oh, oh, oh. Right on the head. Damn. Oh Just God. planted him. One, two, three. No winner of this match. Matt Seidel. Matt Seidel continues to impress here inside the AEW ring. The catch with a submission. Gets the tap out. This with a high flying, you know, move over the top rope. Or oh, the catch it with a high impact move on the back. That's what this is here. Tremendous. Right in the back of the head. Whoa. That's a hard landing, man. That's a tough way to spin it out on YouTube if you're out on solo. Matt Seidel training together victories here on AEW. Dark continues to look impressive and continues to climb the ladder. Two of my favorite guys to watch compete, the Dark Order, Stu Grayson and Evil Uno in tag team action next. This is a tag team bout set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring at a combined weight of 375 pounds, the team of Baron Black and Fuego Del Sol. Seen a lot of both men here on AEW Dark individually, but this is their first time as a pair. <laughs> People from Alabama, man, I'm telling you, it's something in the water. It has to be. <laughs> it has to be. <laughs> Join the Dark Order. And their opponents from the keep. At a combined weight of 422 pounds, Stu Grayson and Evil Uno. The number five ranked tag team here in all Join elite wrestling. 
Grayson and Uno representing Dark Order here tonight. I got an extra question that Ricky Stocks, proud member of Team Taz. I never asked you this. I don't think Excalibur has either. What is your opinion of the Dark Order? I'm, as a Team Taz member, I'm curious. What's your thoughts on the Dark Order? I like them as a collective unit. I think they are uh, they are forced to be reckoned with. They can't they can't mess with us, obviously. No. But, you know, they're there. Look at Coco Banner wearing an AEW shirt. Instead of wearing the, you know, uh, dark water colors. Yeah, he doesn't care. Sport, well, he could sport. visit uh, shopaew.com or he could visit aewgames.com yeah. to stay updated on everything game related from all elite wrestling. You subscribe now at all uh, AEW Games, youtube.com slash AEW Games. Follow us on social media. Stay updated on all the updates. Oh, oh look at, wow, Fuego Del beautiful. Sol. Yeah, I got to email Kenny Omega or text him, give him my thoughts on the games. I know he's looking for them. I'm sure he's very interested in what you have to say. Deja vu by Fuego Del Sol. Wow. Fuego nope. can go, bro. He's, he's not just the master of the swing and DDT. He sure. can all some moves. Back in my day, I was doing that all the time. But it's not, not in your day. This is your day. Double Irish whip. Thank you. He really, he really put you on the spot, right? <laughs> yeah, he did. Thank you. <laughs> oh, like well. Big evil Uno. Grayson tags out. Evil Uno. Next, Cal, I have a question for you. Remember yes, sir. last week we had... Uh, well, our friend Anthony Agogo was at the desk was here, and he was talking about Baron Black. Yes. He mentioned, what was the nickname he said Baron Black whenever he's in a, a dojo? He calls him the H-I-C. No, he called him the H-T-I-C. Explain to our friend Ricky Starks what that is, what Baron Black called 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 him The head technician in charge. Well, he's never, what? <laughs> he's never seen me wrestle. Obviously. Cover here by Baron Black. Barely a one count. Head technician, apparently he said he can get out of any move at any time by anybody. And I'm sure he's, I don't know, he said something about the Rochambeau, I heard that. That's what Anthony says, anyway. Somebody that's, you know, I don't know, he was just talking smack. Apparently, I don't know. He's trying to to start a rivalry between Anthony Agogo and Ricky Starks? No, they're both my Are you going to break my heart, Taz? But no, I, I, are you kidding me? No, of course not. Anthony's my friend, and, and Ricky Starks is like a second son to me. I got golden gloves, too. <laughs> That's where you're going to leave it. Oh, big power slam by Stu Grayson. Yeah, great job by Grayson. Are you going for Christmas? It's the chain, actually. Listen. I got a, a diamond chain, but it's just Ricky, golden gloves. Listen, listen, Iced out. As a wrestler, just you don't want to throw hands with boxes. Just keep on the mat. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I know that, Taz. And I don't same. mind just going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a boxer and seeing how it ends up. Hospital, oh, maybe. I mind. You're, you're, you know, I have a lot of money invested in you. Please. I don't yeah, my face is too good to be broken. Go -go. Exactly. Irish oh. whipping his own partner into the corner is Evil oh. Uno, high boot, and now Grayson. Oh, nice. Just a big clubbing shot across the chest of Fuego del Sol. Fuego del Sol is Fuego dead meat. <laughs> we're, man, we're too good with the nicknames for him. Who's we? Uh, me and you, sorry, pronouns. I thought maybe you had a mouse in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought, I don't know. Bro, you gotta bring your A game here. This is not playtime. It's not amateur out here, son. No, this isn't open mic either, as Brandy would say. And I understand that. Ricky Starks, oh. a huge oh. fan of Stuart Little and his tiny Corvette. <laughs> oh. oh my god, that poor kid's back. Evil Uno's just vicious. Vicious! Oh man. You know what? What? What is right? That's exactly. right. Double boots. By Uno, oh. Russian leg sweep. And oh! oh, oh just oh. ended just end it right there. Oh, my God. Fogo de Chao is getting messed up. Where's the head technician in charge? He's I'm not in charge. He's not. very technically standing on the rope and, uh, or standing on the apron, opting not to get in. He's smart, Baron Black. Fuego do Sol bringing that fight, showing heart. He Back. needs to hit the Tornado DDT. I'm Who's sorry, Excalibur. Fuego Del Sol needs to hit the Tornado DDT. Tornado. I sound like you now. What? <laughs> I get excited. I'm too busy putting you over. That's the problem. I love you, man. Yeah. Grayson. Uh, okay. Grayson sends him <laughs> to the waiting. <laughs> he Fuego Del Sol into the waiting. He's falling apart right here, right before this big match tomorrow night on Dynamite, where Hobbs and Ricky Starks are going to destroy Darby Allen, the new TNT champ, and Cody Rhodes. <laughs> That's uh, not quite oh. a legal tag, but Baron Black couldn't be bothered to wow. wait. Baron Black not playing around, looking good. He saw his partner on the receiving end of so much punishment. Was Baron up to here? 
uppercut, chop, double X handle, drops Evil Uno. Good job, good job. Oh, Manhattan, or excuse me, Atomic drop. Oh, God. Back stabber. He's on fire. And Uno gets taken over the top and spills to the outside. Baron Black. Spinning clothesline. Exploder. Hell Cover man. here. One, two. Ooh, just a one count. The Taz influence is felt every single time we show up on Dark or Dynamite. I just want you to That's know it. that. Get maybe out, everybody. There maybe is. HTIC stands for Head Taz in Charge. <laughs> 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 Love it. You look at him in a good mood. <laughs> yeah. I could have sworn out. You know what? Exactly. Well, what? Oh, what the? Baron Black. Uh, falls victim to that neck breaker. Now Fuego del Sol. Fuego! Oh, oh he buckled his ankle, I think. Maybe not. Evil Uno went for the swing. He missed. And <gasps> Tornado. Oh, no. The D oh, big right hand drops Fuego del Sol. Fuego del Sol is like a damn heavy bag in this match. Oh. And a meeting of the minds there. Baron Black on the shoulders of Grayson on the outside. Oh, the nightfall. He did. Ricky Starks with the expert analysis as Ewald Uno flattens Fuego Del Sol, hooks the near leg. That is it. Join the Dark Order. and Evil Uno. That's why they're probably, like I've stated many times, they're probably my, two of my favorite members of the Dark Order, these two athletes here, Grayson and Evil Uno. Evil Uno's underrated for his offense, his intensity, his physicality. Grayson is a ring gentleman. We know that. He certainly is. And together, this team of Grayson and Uno ranked number five. But if they continue to pile up victories like this, Taz, they are going to climb sooner than later. Oh, yeah, no doubt. I mean, they definitely could get to the uh, proverbial promised land in the world of tag team championships here in AEW. For sure, these two athletes can get it done. They are young, they are motivated, and they are hungry. Griff Garrison and Brian Pillman Jr. in tag team action next here on Dark. This is a tag team contest set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. And choose the first at a combined weight of 471 pounds, Cesar Bononi and Ryzen. Cesar Bononi does not know what to make of Ryzen. The rabid priest from Hellgate, Florida. Cesar Bononi, I believe from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Long way away from Hellgate. Yeah, well. Ryzen is definitely a uh, very unique person. He's a very has different beliefs than most humans. I tried to have a conversation with him once, and it's very difficult. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 453 pounds, Griff Garrison and Brian Pillman Jr. You see that record there at the bottom of the screen? Garrison and Pillman, two and six on the year. Garrison also picked up a singles victory here in AEW Dark. Can these two men restart their momentum here? Ryzen wants to start the matchup for his team. Cesar Benoni will allow him to do so. Brian Pillman Jr. starting the match for his respective team. Well, let's see what happens here. <clears throat> Two different styles. Obviously with Ryzen and Pillman Jr. It's interesting, you know, you're from an area like Hellgate, Florida, if you're um, Ryzen. I mean, you go to Hellgate High. Hellgate Tech, actually. Hmm. Now, you, you, say, you say two different styles, but their hair are very similar, Taz. No, Ryzen's got red, uh, like, uh, mohawk uh, pokes. I mean, you could go to court with hair like Ryzen. You, Pillman had the hair like that, they'd kick you right out. Wrestler's court? I don't know. They just oh. find you in contempt. Regular court. Traffic court, man. I'm a wrestler. That's what I know. Oh, you, you've it. never double parked? No. No. I, I have people drive me around. But look at this. A uh, little shoving action here. Oh. All right. Big right hand across the jaw of Pillman. Pillman, though, a step quicker than Ryzen and takes him down. Explosive shoulder tackle there. 
Yeah, good job by Pillman Jr. <laughs> Bringing the power, round kick. kick to the back. Yeah, across the shoulder blades goes Pillman Jr. Wrenching the arm, tags out to the Ivy League MVP, Griff Garrison. Yeah. Gonna slam there by Pillman. Ivy League who never went to an Ivy League. Garrison elevates over the top, drops the leg across the face. Quick tag out to Pillman. Pillman coming back in the senton. And uh, Garrison just dropped the leg and tagged out to Pillman. Actually, Griff Garrison does not get paid by the minute here. Yeah, sometimes with your partner, your partner might want to keep on bringing the heat, and he might say, hey, tag me, tag me. He might think he has something to mind, and Pillman, obviously, with those chops, wanted to. Irish whip reversed there by Rising Low Bridge. Cesar Benoni sends Brian Pillman Jr. spilling to the outside. Uh oh big Benoni on the outside is a huge athlete. Griff Garrison not doing Pillman any favors there. Oh, Ryzen elevates up over the top rope and comes crashing down on Pillman Jr. on the outside. Yeah, it was an opportunity there, and uh, Ryzen and Benoni took advantage of it. Ryzen keeps the pressure on Brian Pillman Jr. Just a two count there. He yells a lot. You know, Ryzen's very vocal, very focused. When you're from an area like Hell's Gate, Florida, that's what it is, you know, which is actually near Palm Beach. Uh, no, uh, yeah, Palm Beach, I think it is. Sister. West Palm, maybe. West Palm, I think it is. I, drift, I drove through there once. I worked a house show back in the day. Cesar Benoni overhand chopped those big mitts of his, leaving an impression on the chest of Brian Pillman Jr. Back elbow by Benoni. Takes down Pillman, hooks the far leg, clasps the hands together, but Brian Pillman Jr. able to escape the pinning predicament. Just a huge athlete, this guy Benoni. He's got just some look on him. He just takes up so much of the ring. He's very intense. Rising heads up top as Benoni. Oh, no! That's where the height hurt Benoni. And Ryzen strung up on the ropes, and the rangy Griff Garrison taken down. Benoni ducks under the clothesline, attempt rolling elbow strike, rocking the jaw of Cesar Benoni. Griff Garrison climbs up, belly to belly superplex. Griff Garrison makes the cover, hooks the far leg. One, two, no, Benoni there in time to break it up. Had to do that, otherwise Ryzen was gonna lose the match. Griff with that big time throw off the top. Brian Pillman thrust kick, high oh, boot God. from Garrison. They've cleared Benoni from the ring. They've got Ryzen isolated. Teamwork here, teamwork. Brian Pillman Jr. flipping, neck breaker. Spinebuster combination. Garrison and Pillman victorious. No move in this match. Brian Garrison and Brian Pillman Jr. Well, Taz, they hit a bit of a stumbling block over the last couple of weeks, but this team of Pillman Jr. and Garrison back to their winning ways. Yeah, let's see if they can keep it up. In the see right here, but excellent teamwork. We've seen this before. Catch the win, get the win over Ryzen. Impress them. Taz, what you said right there, very telling. Let's see if they can keep it up. The tag team division here in AEW, as deep as it comes. These two young men will have their work cut out for them, but I believe they are more than up for the task. All right, guys, here we go. Can't wait to see it. Whoa. Que Dios bendiga la botella. Oh my gosh, Chris, you've completely outdone yourself. But dead ass, yo, how is this even possible? I mean, look at the craftsmanship. It's so beautiful. Look how it turned out. It's absolutely exquisite. Drink what the demo god drinks. A little bit of the bubbly is back, baby! Supplies are limited. Go to littlebitofthebubbly.com and order now. Get it before it's gone, because last year sold out. Viva el vino brioso! Yay! Ay, ay, ay! Gonna be hard hitting ladies action coming up next. Eva Lise collides with Lindsay Snow. That's next. This contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring from Jacksonville, Florida, Lindsay Snow. 
Taz, we're getting our second look at Lindsay Snow here tonight on AEW Dark, and she is a tough, tough competitor. Yeah, absolutely she is, and I'm uh, looking forward to seeing this matchup because she's competing against a very tough, tough competitor. And her opponent from San Juan, Puerto Rico, La Sicaria, E. Feliz. Eva Lee's holding that medal high. She is, of course, one half of the team that won the AEW Women's Tag Team Cup Tournament alongside Diamante, but she will be competing in singles competition here tonight. But Lindsay Snow, not intimidated by La, La Sicaria. Yeah, you know, this, these are two tough ladies for sure. And you see Lindsay Snow, well, she's all inked up. That's a lot of ink on the body. Ooh, inside the thigh. You don't see that much, that kick. Lindsay Snow grabbing at the hand of Eva Lease and uh, Oh, look oh, at that. Fine, it's carried. Well done. Lindsay Snow getting low, dropping Eva Lee's down. Drop kick takes Eva Lee's off her feet. High boot. Oh, caught. Eva Lee's back elbow to the side of the head. Yeah, good job right there by Eva Lee. I like what she did there. Oh, Lindsay Snow. Good power. Maybe thinking Death Valley driver here. Those elbows. She understood. Eva Lee understood Ooh. what the hell was going on. She had to get out of that. Brutal kick to the jaw there by Eva Lise. Keep an eye on Eva, Eva Lise here. Oh, the flipping senton, almost like a capo kick, Taz. Yeah, that was impressive, and she's feeling good about it right now. Is Eva Lise? Eva Lise in the driver's seat right here in the chop oh. across the chest. Dude, that was like almost at the neck area. You gotta figure someone has. It's gonna sound a little wacky, but there's a cover, cover on here. There's a cover on the ring. Hmm. You gotta realize and. You know, you have that kind of, her neck is all inked up, her chest, her arms, meaning Lindsay Snow. So she's used to pain. You know, as a person who has a good amount of tattooing, I could tell you, when you got that, you know, that amount of ink on your throat area, you know, neck, you're used to pain. So Taz, you have nowhere near the amount of tattoos as Lindsay I Snow. I never said that, I did You said you had a good amount of tattooing. I have a good amount of, I have a lot of tattoos. I don't have nowhere near as much as Lindsay. I have more than you. I have zero, so yes, you so do. Why would me. you attack my, my ink on my body? I've had my ink for a long time. I know. That's very uncalled for. I'm being very nice to you. I have no I'm idea so, why I'm sorry, you did that to I'm me. Sorry. I, mean, I didn't mean to let you down. I just, I just meant that Lindsay Snow's got more tattoos. She than you, does, and I'm very proud of it. It's very nice. I don't have that. My wife would have left me if I had that many tattoos. Women exchanging kicks. Kick to the spine. Oh, good block. Right hand. Oh, the kick to the. Uh, blocked there. Oh, Ooh. both women with the same thing in mind. And oh, again. Oh, damn. <laughs> both athletes. Strong strike kick right there. It was really heavy duty. Strong kicks. Each uh, strong kicks dropping each other. Both women to the feet simultaneously. Lindsay Snow gets both boots up. Shoves Eva Lee towards center, follows up with a big clothesline. Good power, another one. A second one. Eva Lee's in trouble here, Taz. Yeah, she is in trouble, and Lindsay Snow smart. She's keeping the pressure on. Lindsay Snow up off the middle rope, crossbody. Takes down Eva Lee. She was not in position to catch a pin, but instead she comes charging in, running knee strike. Cover, cover, cover. Hooks the near leg. No, just a two count there for Lindsay Snow. And that was close, and Lindsay Snow is surprised. You know, don't be shocked about it. Stay on it. You, you're in there with a really rough and tumble competitor in Eva Lee's. Don't waste time. You just wasted 15, 12 seconds, you know? She's looking for the pump handle here. She's got a pump handle and, a, and a, that over half there. Watch out. Ooh. Eva Lee's, though, flips out, landed on her feet. Oh, the heel comes up, catching Lindsay Snow between the eyes. Eva Lee's tried that, uh, that roll through follow up with a, the kick, but instead, Lindsay Snow, she's got Eva Lee's. Caught, Eva Lee lands on her feet, kicks out the knee, and oh man! Right across the side of the neck. Lindsay Snow stunned by that kick. Eva Lee rolls through, front face kick. Good night, Lindsay Snow. The winner of this match, Eva Lee. Taz, Eva Lee is so dangerous when she hits that roll through followed up by that front face kick. Yeah, no, she is, and she knows when the zone for the kill, Eva Lee does, and finishes it off, so, yeah. Impressive, no matter if it's tag team action, you know, with Diamante, or on her own, Eva Lee.
the victor. Great victory here tonight by La Sicaria, Evelise. They will hurt them emotionally. They will hurt them physically. The acclaimed in tag team action and Anthony Bowens, Max Caster, up next here on Dark. This is a tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing at a combined weight of 457 pounds, George South Jr. and Bobby Weaver. First look at both of these men here tonight on AEW Dark. Bobby Wayward inside the ring, George South Jr. just entering the ring. And we'll be able to uh, get our first look at these two men, get, get an impression of how they're able to work together as a team. Well, we're about to get roasted. Top of the from on the mic. At a combined weight of 556 pounds, Anthony Lowens, Max Caster. The acclaimed. Everybody saying yo, they wanna be yo. acclaimed. Yo, we the acclaimed, beating two no names. That's the easiest thing. Yo, you like a broke MC Hammer? Call up your mom, cause I'm about to slam her. And this guy, you look like a blimp. I called up your girl, she called you a shrimp. Saw you in the locker room, why you so limp? Acclaimed, stay hard. Can y'all take the hint? Damn. What you gonna say about that? Hold on, get in for, yeah. What you gonna say about that? Caster and, well, Caster roasting the opposition, Anthony Bowens. That's pretty big roasting. Yeah, it definitely was. <laughs> and George South Jr., you know, he's a um, old school type throwback guy. His dad was a tremendous competitor in the ring. Underrated, to be honest with you, George South Sr. Yeah, uh, and a great, uh, great second career as a trainer. A lot of the yeah. wrestlers in the Carolinas trained by George South Sr. Never had the opportunity to wrestle his dad, but I've known enough of his in-ring abilities for sure. So let's see if uh, Junior can get it after it. Caster is very Platinum, confident. Max Caster takes George South Jr. off his feet. George South Jr. goes for the trip. Leapfrog goes up and over the top hip. Toss Platinum Max Caster in a little bit of trouble here. Oh, just as I said that, Caster takes control of the arm. Yeah, Caster you know, knows what he's doing. He might talk a lot of smoke on a, you know, on the microphone, but he can bring it in the ring as can his partner, Anthony Bowens. Anthony Bowens, the five-tool player. In here, holding on, and oh, the boot to the left elbow. George South Jr., Bobby Wayward. It's the second time in the match, we, even before the match started, where we got pushed in the chest by Bowens. I don't know why you let someone do that and not get after him, but and then he pops you again, and then he starts whooping your ass as the match starts. So Wayward's got to get rolling. Ooh, there you go, Wayward. Wayward exchanging fire with Anthony Bowens here. Swing and a miss. Oh, big left hand there by Bobby Wayward. Wayward sends Bowens in. Bowens elevates over the top. And a, a leapfrog there, side headlock. Wait, oh, Anthony Bowens, great nice. agility there. Yeah, very well done. Pops up, Wayward comes over the top. Oh, oh elbow oh. strike. I think Wayward had something in mind, and he ate a flipper, man. He ate a hard forearm shiver. Reversal here, and now aye, aye, aye. Bowens hits the float over DDT. Oh. Anthony Bowens bringing Wayward back up to his feet. Tags out to Platinum Max Caster. Oh. To the midsection, Caster in control of Wayward here. Yeah, he's got, oh, he's gonna struggle. Oh! He's gonna do that right there, great job. Powerful back suplex there. Yeah, Wayward is hurting big time. Max Caster maintaining control, not a lot. Well, that's not what I would have done in that situation, Taz. No, no, I agree, but look at this backslide. Kind of, oh, his shoulder was up, but he got out of it. I thought he was going my straw. Oh, oh, no! Looked like he was going there, though. Yeah, it, it sure did, but Caster. Caster leapt up, hit that drop kick to the small of the back. 
I've seen Max Cassidy wrestle many times, you know, uh, out of Long Island, train at Creator Pro, you know, uh, the Long Island uh, school dojo there. And I'll tell you, he's, he's tremendous. He's tremendous. He's been tremendous for a long time. So uh, getting a great opportunity with, with him and his partner to, as the acclaim. His mean, father's a all pro for the New York Jets. Yeah, I think he was either a tight end or a receiver, I believe, years back. Pretty but sure. look at George South yeah. Jr. taking it to the acclaimed. Whoa! Oh, back body drop. No. Oh, to great acclaim. George South Jr. in a lot of trouble. Bobby Wayward just walked into a boot. Wow. Bowen's planning Wayward. Tell you what, the acclaim, man, they just they just get better every week. Every time you see them, their chemistry's better, their synergy's better, and their intensity is even most most important thing is even better. Setting up for a claim oh. to fame. Caster drops the elbow. One, two, three. The winners of this match. The acclaimed. The acclaimed. Top of the chain, so I bet you know the Dance, why does he do the weird thing with his hey, opponent's hands? Every time it happens, I'm very perplexed. I don't understand what's going on with the hand. Last week, he rubbed the guy's belly, but I think he was doing like he was mixing. Like turntable gimmick. But I'll tell you, I don't understand the hand thing. I'm going to have to ask uh, Casta what the deal is with that. Two great uh, acclaim end of the night. And uh, acclaimed victories here, stringing together an impressive streak of victories here on AEW Dark. Super kick, Potter! This is the story of Matt and Nick Jackson, seen through their eyes. Over the past 20 years, they have documented their tireless journey, their triumphs, and their tribulations. And now they are ready to share their adventures with the world in their new book. One day, let's grow up and let's be professional wrestlers. This is the story of two brothers that became two loving fathers that went on to become the best tag team in professional wrestling today. This is the story of the Young Bucks killing the business. Young Bucks, we're killing the business. Two wild and dangerous guys coming up next in a tag team matchup. Chaos Project competes. This is a tag team contest set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introduced first at a combined weight of 480 pounds, the team of Alex Chamberlain and Seth Gorgas. That's two big, powerful athletes here tonight making their tag team debut on AEW Dark. Seth Gargas in the ring, Alex Chamberlain on the outside there. Gargas looks like he just like chopped down a tree, man. Go out in the woods, chop down a tree, drink about 20 beers, eat, eat a burrito, fart, burp, move on. And Paraport, weighing in at 430 pounds, Luther Serpentico Chaos Project. Fart, boot, burp, and move on, Tess. Yeah, yeah, Saturday night, you know what I mean? That's right, kind of my, my weekend. No, I digress. <laughs> no wonder your wife rejoices when you come to Jacksonville. Oh, yeah. Chaos <laughs> <laughs> Project. And there's a show! Oh, yeah! Stream of City. Look at and Luther, he loves it. Oh, he's, he's wiping the saliva off of his, uh, the corners of his mouth. Oh. There's Sir Pentago. And there's Luther. Thank you, Luther. Psych wad you. Psych wad. Yes. Words up. That's my gimmick. But I'll tell you what, this Seth Gorgas, he, he is a, a big raw bone guy, as is Chamberlain. So they're two big athletes here. Luther's a big man, but I'll tell you what, Sir Pentago's got to watch himself. <laughs> He's uh, mm -mm -mm. Sir Pentico obviously went to the uh, Marco Stunt School of uh, Brains, but uh, oh, wow. no, you should let Luther start. I was gonna say uh, of, uh, of posing down, but oh, very oh. different. That's great. Sir Pentico and Luther Chaos Project getting a hot start here on on Gargas. Seth Gargas though breaks through the double clothesline attempt. Dropkick takes down Chaos Project and he springs up ah, to his feet. Nice job, big the, athlete. The impressive agility there, the scoop 
he's got Serpentico over his shoulder, slams him down. Alex Chamberlain tags in, seeing his first action of the match. Chamberlain, big right elbow strike. Yeah, another one, forearm strong, elbow and forearm, and then, oh man, that's the problem, you're giving up that much body weight. Yeah, hard hammer throw into the corner. Swing and a miss by Serpentic. Oh, he gets dropped down by Chamberlain. Chamberlain covers here, one, shoot. Just a two count there from referee Mike Posey. Oh, we've seen Serpentico before. He can take a lot of punishment. He's tough. Luther, though, tried for the blindside shot, but Chamberlain answered with the right hand. Oh, that kick to the top of the knee. Then he landed, it looked like his face then hit his hit Serpentico's other knee. I think that's what happened. Very quick. And Serpentico doing a good job of chopping down his larger opponents. Gesturing to Luther, the original death dealer, to get up on the apron. And Luther makes the tag into the match. Ooh. Brutal kick to the midsection, a second one. Well, that's Luther. You know, he is ruthless. He just, he'll just look at him. He'll rip apart your face. Look, look. He's giving it, giving Good smile. Chamberlain, uh, oh, a free face lift and then the kick across the jaw there from Serpentico. Luther. Ooh. Mm. Just a running punt. Serpentico tags in. And this uh, this might be the start of a, a tough night at the office for Serpentico. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, look at this. Irish whip. And, oh, yes, oh. it is. <laughs> Why would you willingly do that if you're Serpentico? <laughs> Serpentico's hurting. No. <laughs> Luther, stop, come on, man. You use That's a, your partner. Like Serpentico has a battering ram. And Seth Gargas on the outside is completely perplexed, as is we. One, two, no. Alex Chamberlain able to kick out. That's very creative. I guess that's one way to put it from Luther. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, really making the most out of this tag team situation here. Irish whip into the ropes. Alex Chamberlain. Oh, it's a ah. drop kick there. Luther, big drop kick by the big man. Tag here as uh, Serpentico still <laughs> feeling the effects of those repeated uh, headbutts, courtesy of, of Luther to the midsection of Chamberlain. Oh, God, he's not done. Oh, oh poor Serpentico. It's almost that, you know, Luther's like those triple the offensive moves because he just throws around his partner. It's tremendous. And Seth Gargas wants absolutely no part of this. He's. <laughs> Sir Pentico thrown out his lower back. Cover here, one, two. No, Alex Chamberlain able to kick out. I'll tell you what was a hoot. This morning, I go to the hotel, real quick story. I'm at the hotel, I should say, and I go to get a little cappuccino, and ahead of me in the line, no social distancing, six feet, is Luther trying to order a coffee. It was hysterical, dude. Like, hysterical. Eight in the morning, just screaming his lungs out? He was explaining he didn't want milk in the coffee, and, like, he just no. he couldn't say the words, and he started screaming like that. Serpentico does not want to be thrown. Oh, no. Uh, by Luther. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. God. Alex Man. Chamberlain has endured slightly more punishment than Serpentico has in this I'm match. I was just going to say, I think Serpentico has shown his toughness. His old ball is just destroying him. And Seth Garg is completely fresh there out on the apron. Chamberlain reverses. Spinebuster sends Serpentico down. Gargas reaching for the tag. Makes the tag out. Clears Luther off the apron. Clothesline takes down Serpentico. Shoulder tackle knocks him back. He's a bull, this guy, Goggins, a bull. Irish whip into oh. the rubs back body. Drop Seth Gargas. Impressive here as gut wrenches up Serpentico. Serpentico, though, fighting for position, and Luther grabbing the boots of, of Gargas to hold him in. What is going on? Oh! oh! Rising knee strike. Knocks Gargas back in the thrust kick to the side of the head. Chamberlain gets taken out, spills to the outside. Quick roll, here comes Luther. Serpentico cleared the distance. Sends Seth Gargas and the pump kick. 
Pump kick drops Gargas. Serpentico heads up to uh -oh. the top. Gargas is in trouble. This could be the creeping death from Chaos Project. Luther covers one, two, three. Oh, what is this match? Chaos Project. It's mayhem. Whatever Chaos Project competes, it's mayhem, I say. One might say it's Chaos, Taz. Well said. Luther and Serpentico victorious here tonight on AEW Dark. That creeping death, that assisted uh, spine buster knee, knee drop combination. Might have been uh, Serpentico's only offensive move in all match. <laughs> very, very much so, but Luther hitting offense on uh, on all three competitors, oh, all three other competitors inside this matchup. Chaos Project, your winners here tonight. It'll be a song of ice and fire as Lady Frost goes one on one with Red Velvet next here tonight on AEW Dark. This contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring from the Ice Garden, Lady Frost. Has Lady Frost impressive robe. Impressive debut last week on Dark, though she was not victorious. Hoping to change things around here tonight. Yeah, I thought she had a good showing of herself last week for sure here on Dark. So excited to see her uh, in action again. Trust love the snow. I love the snow too. And her opponent, straight out of your mama's kitchen, Red Velvet. Red Velvet making her way to the ring. She has uh, fallen in line with Brandy Rhodes and the Nightmare family. But Taz, I think uh, maybe you were a little pleased to see Jade Cargill attack that arm of Brandy Rhodes. I actually wasn't. I, I, I have no problem with Brandy. My problem is with her husband, obviously. But yeah, no, I have no problem with that. I, it's a nasty attack by Jade on, on you know, on Brandy, but uh, no, no, my main problem is obviously with, with Cody Rose, but I, I understand why you would ask that question. Collar and elbow tie up here. Lady Frost grabs the side headlock, brings Velvet in tight, but Red Velvet able to fire her off, shoulder tackle. Lady Frost hops up and over the trip attempt, but Red Velvet Cuts through the path and leg lariat takes down Frost. Yeah, and you see right there, Red Velvet not wasting time staying on her opponent face first into the buckle. Oh, body shots here, quick. Chopping down her opponent and then placing the boot on the jaw. Red Velvet stirring it up. Yeah, you can see that, that Lady Frost in trouble and Right now, oh, on the hop is, oh, Red Velvet. Red Velvet, single leg drop kick to the chest, hooks the far leg. Two count, Frost fires that shoulder up off the canvas. Stalking her, she's all over. Look at those strong forearms to the chest by Red Velvet. Red Velvet continue, oh! Man, that was just a nasty collision. Frost stepped out of the way and Velvet went face first in that turnbuckle pattern. Oh, an axe kick to the midsection. And ooh, just a double knee drop across the chest. Lady Frost not taken too kindly to Red Velvet. Moonsault press missed there by Frost. Red Velvet, Moonsault press of her own, hooks the far leg too. No, Frost able to kick out. Yeah, tough to kick out of that, but see Red Velvet, but she does really well. She stays all over her opponent. She doesn't let the, let, you know, let the other competitor breathe. But right now, Frost turned it around. Shoulder to the midsection. Frost returns to the corner, hits that rising strike. Snap mare, let's see what happens. And a, just a, a little kick to the side of the head staggers Velvet. Velvet, though, kicking out at two. 
Sometimes those little kicks can definitely, uh, you know, ring your bell for a second for sure. And look, both arms now. Well, especially if you don't if you don't see him coming, Taz. Yeah, no, that's that's true. Doesn't doesn't take a lot. The piercing blue eyes of Lady Frost. Let's see, she's got control of Velvet, but Velvet fighting her way out of a disadvantageous position. Slides through the legs. Clothesline back elbow there. Red Velvet, Kazadara into the Bulldog. Ooh. Good job. She is planted Lady Frost, center of the ring. Now swinging a miss there by Lady Frost. Overhead throw. Got to follow up now, stay on her, stay on Lady Frost. Red Velvet building up ahead of Steam. Knee strike to the back. Another blindside shot, this time delivered by Red Velvet. He's got a mean streak, this Red Velvet. Big time mean streak, I like it. Velvet drop kick to the side of the head, hooks the far leg. Two, three. No winner of this match, Red Velvet. Taz Red Velvet hit that running boot to the side of the head of Lady Frost, and that was the end of the evening for Velvet's opponent. Yes, yeah, very, very impressive. Red Velvet, Lady, she's been always impressive, uh, so it's, it's, it's great to see the victory. Lady Frost put up a good fight, but not enough. Red Velvet putting together another victory here tonight on AEW Dark. Some big things in this woman's future here in all elite wrestling. Here tonight in our main event, Dark Orders, Allen Angels, and Preston Vance, Five and Dime team up to take on Sonny Kiss, Joey Janela, and Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus in a big three-way tag team main event here tonight on Dark. Join the Dark Order. Your AEW Dark main event is a three-way tag team match set for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Approaching the ring first at a combined weight of 415 pounds. Dark order numbers five and ten. Join the dark Taz, five and dime, as you like to call them. Yeah. Yeah, it might be, I'll tell you what, five and dime, they might be my two favorite members of the Dark Order, but I'm also very fond of Evil Uno and Big Stu Grayson. What about the recruitment specialist? John Silver and Alex Reynolds. I love those guys, too. I really do. So you like the Dark Order. What about I, Colt I Cabana? Do, I, well, Colt, I'm on the fence about. Anna, Anna Jay. Jay. I'm, I'm very fond of Anna. But Colt, uh, not so much. Next, at a combined weight of 391 pounds, the Concrete Rose. Sunny Kiss and the Bad Boy, Joey Junella. Well, Taz, you like the Dark Order. What about Jersey's finest here? Well, you know how I feel about New Jersey. I you can't pump your own gas there. No, you cannot, but I've built a reputation here on top that it makes everybody in the state of New Jersey hates me. Uh, and I'm fine with that. I'm a proud How, how do you feel about pumping your own gas? Uh, I, I, listen, I think it's ridiculous. Pumping your own gas? Yeah. So you do like Jersey in that regard? No, I like going to the the gimmick aisle where they pump my gas because I can afford right, it. Right, well, I'm saying, so you like New Jersey? No, I don't like the gas they have. I like our gas better. That's higher octane. We got 99 octane free or whatever the gimmick is. And being accompanied by Marco Stunt at a combined weight of 432 pounds, Jungle Boy, Luchasaurus, Jurassic Express. Taz, Jurassic Express, the number four ranked Tag team here in all elite wrestling. But Jungle Boy right there hopping into the ring, an important milestone. The first competitor in AEW to have 50 matches. It's very impressive and congratulations to Big Jungle Boy. Man, I'm happy about that for him. I was actually talking to him earlier about it. Because I do, you know, I, I, you know, certain people I don't like, certain people I do. I like Jungle Boy. I, I, do, I, I, hadn't, noticed, I hadn't noticed that, that you dislike certain people. But 50, that's a nice milestone, 50 matches. That is really oh. cool. Ah, 10 goes right for the jungle. I love it. And five takes down Sunny Kiss. This action starting before the bell is even rung. Five with the swing and the miss, and Luchasaurus drops. Drops oh. five, and now the Kazadora into the flatliner from Jurassic Express. 
Well, watch Sonny kiss and Joey. Look at him on the top rope there. Sonny and Joey stereo drop kicks take down Luchasaurus. They don't realize Jungle Boy's right there. Ooh, both both caught shots to the gut. Jungle Boy sends in Sonny Kiss. Sonny Kiss coming off the ropes. Uh oh. Catches Jungle Boy. Janela coming off. Look at this. Into that Boston Crab. A little bit of a, a dream sequence here from Jersey's finest. Janela coming off the ropes. Drop kick to the face of Jungle Boy. Tell you what, that Joe Janela. He's got fat and Midland cardio. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and 10 in the corner. Janela locks eyes, but 10. Whoa! Oh, my God. Yo! Cameraman got drilled. Camera three is now. Wow. Talk about bringing it right into your living room. Camera zero. Camera, thanks for coming. <laughs> and Janela rolling off the back of 10. Preston Vance, but oh, spine. Buster there. Well, that just shows you, you know, how powerful and hard hitting. And uh, if anybody's wondering, the camera person, the cameraman is okay. Mark, he's a Mark. Cam he's okay. Mark's okay. Mark's okay. Yeah. My imaginary friend you Keith told me that. Yeah. I, I thought but it was your imaginary friend Tim, but no, I, I got rid of him. I <laughs> fired him. <laughs> Baltimore son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, Angels tags in. Big elbow strike from the southpaw, number five. Leaps up. Fro Frog Splash, just a, barely a one count. Oh, Janela. Yeah, typical Jersey. Nice class right oh. there. High class guy from Jersey. Believe in that. That's disgusting. <laughs> Taz, the most respectful yes. individual here in all elite wrestling. You see Angels always on point. Young athlete, real good. Here comes the big man. And really speaks to the the danger of the Dark Order within their organization. They have three very, very tough tag teams in Silver and Reynolds, five and ten, and Eve Uno and well, Grayson here is the cover. And, and no, you're right. It's a good point that it's not talked about enough because you know they, it's smart what the Dark Order does. They they keep those units, those structures, structures of those teams together. I like that. I like that they do that. Sunny Kiss taken off the like apron there by that? 10. Preston Vance. That? Yeah, Vance, uh, Preston Vance, a big, strong athlete, number 10 right there. Joey Janela smart to work on the body, but don't take too long, Joey. You'll get eaten up here. You got to be careful. Vance, highly recruited football player at one time in his career, instead opting to use his power inside the squared circle. Nice double team move at. Missile and drop kick into the fallaway slam. Yeah, continue. I'm I was going to say, the Jurassic Express uh, cover here by five. Jurassic Express didn't take advantage of the uh, the tag there. Yeah, I was just I'm surprised. But, you know, maybe sometimes you're trying to regroup. That could happen sometimes, trying to figure it out. You know, and, hey, you or, know what? or perhaps uh, Jurassic Express content to have Janela get worked over here. Yeah, they, they, you know, looking at the Jurassic Express in the corner there a second ago, they didn't look too stressed out. Hard whip into the corner. Five and dime, really going to work. That's what they do, man. On Janela. Oh, Angel just ate a boot. Oh, the power again. Ten. Oh, but Janela maneuvered his way to the ropes, dropping ten back. Meeting of the minds there between five and ten. Yeah, a little collision, and Janela going to the top again. Janela coming off the top, diving cross body takes down both men. Well, well, well done by Janela. Might want to get Sunny Kiss, and there you go. Quick Ukemi roll, and here comes Sunny Kiss. Slides between the legs of wow. Angels. Drop salt. Step up, Enzi Gary. Rocks 10. Step up, Tierras there. Takes down five. Excellent foot speed, athleticism, as always, by Sunny. Oh, the rapid kiss missile. And whoa. whoa. Nice bridge. 10 taking out his own partner. Sonny Kiss able to avoid contact, and once again able to avoid contact. 10 spills to the outside, now Sonny has five isolated blind tag there by Jungle Boy. We mentioned that 50 match milestone. Jungle Boy, incredible durability. Yeah. Cover here, going through all those 50 oh. matches a year plus here in AEW without a, an injury. So but it speaks to his uh, toughness, to your point, to Jungle Boy's toughness. Uh, regarding durability, that's toughness, right? So, it, yeah, no doubt. Oh, Angel's there. A little bit of a misdirected kick to the head. 
drops Jungle Boy and Ten, I believe, got the blind tag. And now with the waist lock gets rolled up by Jungle Boy. Shoulders not down. Shoulders are down now. Now they were, yeah. Kick out. Ten swinging a miss there. Jungle Boy. Casadora coming up. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh! Into, that, into that wheelbarrow type suplex out of that Casadora. Cover here. Deep hook. Just a two count for ten. Smart the way he did that. That throw, I've done that throw. Okay, it's a little tough when you go too low around a man's hips. He was a little higher towards the waist, the abdomen area, which was able, why he was able to get such a good uh, auction in that, in that suplex. And I bet that uh, that 50 pound plus weight advantage oh, yeah. on ten helped a lot too. Good point. Stalling vertical suplex drops Jungle Boy down. Ten covers once again here. One, two. Two count here in our main event here tonight on AEW Dark. Reminder, tomorrow night, it is our biggest dynamite ever. The special edition winter is coming. The AEW World Championship will be on the line as John Moxley defends his title against Kenny Omega in our main event tomorrow night, 8, 7 central on TNT. Small right there, Angels the ground, Jungle Boy. Front face lock, Jungle Boy trying to fight up to a vertical position. Create some distance, makes the leap. Oh, almost, whoa, 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 whoa. almost the tag there. And Jungle Boy trying to make any sort of tag that he can. Standing oh, Spanish fly damn. by Angels. Covers, hooks both legs. Jungle Boy kicks out. Again, the toughness, but Angels keeping that pressure on. That's good stuff. Look at him pounding, and you see Jungle Boy trying to cover up his head. But Angels keeping the pressure on. The Dark Order has been in control for the bulk of this match. But Jungle Boy creating a little space for himself. Well, I spoke too soon because he got shut down there by Angels. Jungle Boy comes off. Whoa. Big clothesline, Dex Angels. And now Jungle Boy needs to make a tag. You would think he's going to head to Luchasaurus to do so, and he starts making the crawl. Uh oh, here comes the big man now. He does, but Sonny Kiss, I believe, tagged himself in. Oh, straight pump kick. You gotta watch those those big legs, those big feet, big clothesline by Luchasaurus. And an even bigger chop. Oh, wow. Luchasaurus laying in the heavy leather here, Taz. Oh, plants. Kid. Sonny Kiss cover here. One, two, no. Oh, well, that, that, you, know, you see right there, you know, Vance wanting to get the victory. Ten not, not wanting Jurassic Express to get the win, so he had to break that up. Luchasaurus. He's got the goozle and choke slams five into the waiting arms of ten. And oh, oh nice. What a great counter. Oh, but Tope suicide oh, by Jungle Boy. Jungle Boy just bent his head, drilled that guardrail. How tough is Jungle Boy? He just kept on going. Popped right back up to his feet. Holy God, that was something, man. And they Jurassic Express has Sonny got up. Oh, watch out, watch out. Plant Sonny, Jungle Boy. Covers, hooks the far leg, one, two, no, wow. I thought that was it. Watch, Take, watch the head right here of uh, Jungle Boy as he comes flying out after that DDT. Here we go, watch this. Bam, head first into the guardrail. I've done that, not on a dive, and some people are like, how do you take that? Your adrenaline's flowing, he's tough as hell, Jungle Boy, and that's, that's a big part of the reason why. Jungle Boy popped right up, and oh! Palm strike there from Janela and a wow, thrust kick, kick catch yep. Luchasaurus. This thing's crazy. Great main jo event. Joey Janela with oh, angels no. on her shoulder. Oh, Death Valley uh, driver on the lower back of Jungle Boy. He's vicious. Janela is vicious. Oh, oh. tail whip just dropped Janela. These guys are just lighting each other up here. Look at that Death Valley driver right on the tailbone. Lower back area, buttocks of Jungle Boy. And 10, powers up Janela, oh the power God. bump on the ring frame. Holy cow. Oh, look at this, Sonny Kiss, Orihara moonsault. The last man standing. Fearless, right there, fearless. Sonny bringing Luchasaurus back up to his feet. Taz, I'm not sure that's the one I would pick I, yeah, to roll back into the ring. I don't understand that either, to be honest. But this moonsault was crazy. By, <laughs> Sonny might be, I don't know, look at that moonsault. Sonny may be, may be out to prove a point, taking down the biggest target in this match. Oh! Ooh. Wow, what a headbutt. Headbutt absolutely rocks Sonny Kiss. Yeah. And now Sonny up on the shoulders of Luchasaurus. Joey Janela. 
Oh, look at Jungle Boy. He's up to the top. He's trying to help his partner here in a second. Janela kicking at Luchasaurus. Jungle Boy goes over the top of the destroyer. <laughs> what the hell? The swing in the middle. Oh, the high roundhouse kick drops Luchasaurus. Jungle Boy. Oh, Angels is tagged in. Tagged himself in. Blind tag there by Alan Angels. Sonny Kiss avoids contact there. Bypass sends 10 out to the apron. Step up and see Gary by Angels. Yeah, Angels so quick how he Angels. kicked up. Oh, the wing snapper on Sonny Kiss. Spear. Oh. Spear by 10. Cover him, cover him. Oh, no, Angels is legal. Angels takes flight. Frog splash. Bounced off with all that momentum. I believe Angels is legal still. I, I believe is. so, but a lot of action. Just bodies everywhere. It's easy to get hung up in it. Jungle Boy escapes off the shoulders of 10, sends him into five. Thrust kick drops 10. Now Angel sent into the waiting arms of Lucha. Soros, the assist oh. to the power bomb. One, two, three. The winners of this match, Jurassic Express. What a main event. Holy smokes, that was great. All oh, six athletes, tremendous. Hard-hitting, hotly contested Jurassic Express. The number four ranked tag team here in all elite wrestling continue to rise at the expense of Dark Order, more specifically Alan Angels here tonight. I mean, it literally could have went either way towards either three teams, but Jurassic Express captures the win. That was a great outing by all three teams. Excellent main event. Tomorrow night, the biggest dynamite ever. Winter is coming. Special edition of AEW Dynamite 87 Central on TNT. The Dynamite Diamond Battle Royal. Men competing for that beautiful Dynamite Diamond Ring. We will see that action tomorrow night. Team Taz's powerhouse Hobbs and Ricky Starks team up to take on Cody Rhodes and the TNT champion, Darby Allen. The demo god Chris Jericho goes one on one with SCU's Frankie Kazarian. And in the biggest main event ever on AEW Dynamite, AEW World Champion John Moxley goes head to head with the number one contender, Kenny Omega, tomorrow night, 8 7 Central on TNT for myself, Excalibur, and the human suplex machine, Taz. Good night, everybody.